We're nearing $200,000 raised on Sandra Schmirler Day here at the Scotties, all in support of neonatal care across our country. Here's the number to call. Make a donation. We are in Red Deer, Alberta. Tonight, it's the veteran against the rookie. Experience against exuberance of youth. BC's Kelly Scott, two-time champion, making a seventh Scotty's appearance. On the flip side, it's the first time for Ontario's Tracy Horgan. Maybe the only thing the teams have in common are their records. Both have won their opening two games and sit atop the standings. BC, Ontario, the Scotties continues. Got a little snow today here in Red Deer. Not much of dusting. They haven't had much of a winter. And the rest of the week is supposed to be mild. Now, this afternoon, this uh, Centrium house, it was a rocket. Because on the ice was the Alberta champion from up in Edmonton, the former champion, Heather Nedwin, playing the four-time champion out of Manitoba, Jennifer Jones. And this was in the eighth. And it is a beauty. Brought the house down as she makes this run back double as she went on to beat Jones and had them on their feet. It was an 8-6 final. Ontario wins her second in a row rather easily over last year's bronze medalist from Nova Scotia, Heather smith Dacey. BC got three in 10 to win 10-8 over Saskatchewan and Team Canada pulled it out with a single in the 10th to beat New Brunswick. So atop the standings, you have three teams, BC, Ontario, and the defending champions, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, the team from Yellowknife, Perry Galusha, the surprise of the event so far at two and one. And then we still have two teams looking for their first wins, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland Labrador. And on this Sunday night, we say hello, Canada, and welcome back to our continuing coverage of this year's Scotty, Linda, and Russell alongside. The BC champions, two-time Canadian champions, playing like champions. Playing very well and looking very comfortable in this environment. And that's not easy. That's what experience does give you. You feel comfortable with the shots, knowing you may have some close games and knowing you have to make some big shots. If you look at Kelly Scott and think about her junior experience and her Scotties and world experience, she's putting all of that experience to play in both her game plan and execution. If you compare now, BC and Ontario, the two teams are going to see tonight. Look at the difference in experience. Appearances at the Scotties, the rookies for Ontario, of course, in their first 77 games, two titles for Kelly Scott, and she's using that experience well. You know, Horgan comes out of uh, Sudbury, and I said, uh, just that the surprise team, in fact, is Kerry Galusha. This may be a surprise team, too, only because of that lack of experience. And don't tell them about the lack of experience. They knocked off a 53-year-old uh, Kim uh, Dolan, and they just knocked off Daisy without even sweating out there. They, they played really, really well. I think uh, Tracy, she's number one right now as a skip. She made an unbelievable shot to steal that game against uh, PI opening draw, and I think that was the key. It calmed the rest of the team down, and now they're on fire. So here on a Sunday night, our featured game will be Ontario against British Columbia on Sandra Schmirler Day here at the Scotties. The 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Sponge Towels Paper Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group. Proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. By Tim Horton's new lattes made with premium espresso. And by Capital One. What's in your wallet? It's draw five on a Sunday night here at the Centrium, and the games on the ice include the defending champions against Alberta. As you know, the building's going to be loud again. Kerry Galusha takes that two and one record against so far winless Newfoundland Labrador on sheet C PEI against Quebec in our featured game. Two of the others undefeated, BC against Ontario. And it's time to meet the teams now, brought to you by Ford 
drive one. Hi, I'm Kelly Scott, the skip of Team British Columbia. Our lead is Jackie Armstrong, second is Daleen Sievertson, our third is Sasha Carter, and we curl out of the Kelowna Curling Club. Hi, I'm Tracy Horgan, skip of Team Ontario. Our lead is Amanda Gates, second Jenna Inge, third Jennifer Seabrook, and we curl out of the Adelaide Golf and Country Club in Sudbury, Ontario. You can see that BC is going to play the Red Stones, Ontario the yellow, and Ontario has won the draw to the button, so they'll have the hammer here in this first. So Kelly Scott is out, has the brush down, and in the hack, ready to get us going on this Sunday evening. The BC lead is Jackie Armstrong. I talked about the Kelly Scott team and uh, the experience. There has been, of course, a change with this team with Gina Schrader having a baby. She's taken the season off and they got Daylene Sievertson out of juniors, fresh out of juniors last year. And it does make a little difference as well in the style of play and their approach. Four two. Had a girl. Go, Jackie. Four two eight. Four two. Yeah. Oh, I like it normal guys so you now have uh, sasha carter she did play the first part of the season in her usual position at second but then they swapped daylene and sasha now sasha throws third and daylene is vice skip so a lot of changes as far as the lineup goes for scott hard whoa 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 Close. yep yep hard whoa, down the roll right over down. So we have the experience of BC, the lack of experience from these rookies, Tracy Horgan. What is the game plan? And well, it's brought to you by World Financial Group. Your dreams are strategies. Kelly Scott has changed a little bit. She's trying to keep the games close and take the hammer to 10, make the big final shot. She's done it so far. And her saves during the game, those are the key. For Ontario, very impressed with the calmness and the ability to control the nerves. And although there was some poor shot making let's say by the third in the first game she totally made up for it in the second game and that's a great sign it's like they flipped a switch uh, Tracy kept them in that first game to be honest PI was all over them and she's drawn against four drawn against three one inch I think she drew against four made a freeze forced them to one and then made that great shot draw to the pin to uh, force a tough shot out of uh, the PI team and just barely won that game and all of a sudden the teams responded as you say the vice is making everything and Tracy's the highest percentage skip here Nice, nice, guys. Nice, nice. All you, all you. Line's good. Two and a half. Hard. Hard, guys. Right up. As far as you can. As far as you can. That one died. Okay. Kathy Gauthier is with us this evening as well here in Red Deer. Good evening, Kathy. Hey, Vic. You know, Russ, you just talked about flipping a switch, and that's really interesting because Tracy said this is new. This is a, a new Canadian championship for them, but they've played a lot on the tour. They've played at least half of the teams in this field, and they've played Team Scott before in Brantford. They did lose on Last Rock, but it is comfort in who they're playing out here. The biggest thing that they were not prepared for were the crowds. We're not used to the roar, but very much like all of us in our first Scotties or our first Briar, in your case, Russ, very quickly you get used to the the crowd and you love them and you love them on your side well, I said to her earlier when we chatted before the event began I, I equated it with uh, baseball and uh, getting a call up from the minors this is the show and uh, you want to be here and then drink it all in and maybe even use it to your advantage if you can I think the one nice thing for a team like uh, Morgan, she's coming out of a great province of Ontario. She's following in the footsteps of Rachel Holman, who jumped immediately from juniors into women's play last year. She's a bit of an unknown for many of us who haven't gone and seen these bond spells that she's played in. And maybe the expectations aren't there for many, putting pressure on them. They're just really here to play. So we saw a few nerves in the first game, but now it seems like they've settled down and are just doing that old one shot at a time and trying to perform their best. Exactly, and, and they didn't play great other than Tracy in that first game, but to walk out with a victory against such a veteran team, it, that has to make such a difference, and we saw the difference today. They really didn't give Nova Scotia a chance, and it's going to be interesting to see how this game goes along because they applied a ton of pressure to Nova Scotia, and you wouldn't think their rookies would be doing that. 
Beauty. Look at that roll. 10 2. Okay. Long, 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 long guard. Forward, bumper. Well, this Ontario team, as mentioned, from the uh, Idlewild Golf and Country Club in Sudbury, and they've been knocking on the door. They lost the Ontario final two years ago, lost in the semifinal, and look who they took out on the way to this year's championship. In Sherry Madaw, former Ontario champion, and then Rachel Holman. Rachel Holman actually <laughs> gave it away, and girl, it nice really week. was a steal of the Ontario championship for... Tracy Horgan. Four eight, eh? Yes. Yeah. So they've been knocking on the door for a while. They've Same come second. Morning. They've come third. This time they won it. You had Krista McCarvel in the field along with Sherry and Rachel. Uh, that was not an easy provincial. Maybe a little more than I gave you this morning. I'm good. So here's the differences. Watch it once it starts Linda to curl. alluded to. Regina Schrader Hard. expecting. Sasha Carter moves up to throw the third stones, but when Kelly Scott does throw her stones, their skip stones, Sasha Carter does go back and brush, and Daylene Severson, Severson does hold the brush. BC and Col champions from the Kelowna Curling Club. They were a winner over Marla Mallet, the former BC champion of 2009. The two-time Canadian champion in 2006 and 2007. Close! As much as you can, Amanda. Roll it! Come on, Jen. Nice weight choice there. You, you wanted to roll a little farther, so you tend to throw more weight. If you roll right out, it allows uh, Team BC to split the rings, and you don't have that chance to get out of this. But keeping that in play and edging over towards that opponent's red rock might give them a double later. Sasha yeah. is hard, yeah. also hard, expecting, hard, hard, but right it's only right three right months right up, pregnant. Yes, and so I asked oh, Kelly, yeah, what about yeah. brushing aspect? She says if it was a little bit later, she may not have her brushing. But at this point in time, uh, she didn't feel that it would be a problem. And the change for Sasha to move to the third stones actually didn't happen until after Christmas. So it is a little bit of a new move. But that did keep Daylene uh, as vice skip, which she had been during the Bonspiel season. A little bit this time. I mean, Sasha was, of course, seven months pregnant in Charlottetown. And you know, by her own admission, she said she had to adjust her throwing. She had to adjust her balance. It is quite something. Yeah, much more difficult last year, of course, but it's a physical toll to be here anyways. And she has to make sure she doesn't get too tired. It's a long week. So here's one of the most positive people we know in the world, right, Vic? Pardon me? Sorry. Kelly Scott, one of the most positive people we know. Oh, goodness. Yes. We've talked to her about it because a uh, competitor Sweet you sometimes is think is a, is a toughie, yeah. and she Low is just a sweetheart, Low. and she Low. says that that's just the Low. way she is with her team. Low. 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 In fact, I suggested to her during our pre-event interviews, I said, I think sometimes you're too nice, and she says, I'm, that's the way I am. And uh, she brings that... And isn't it interesting, you know, you you see the positive attitude of somebody like Amber Holland. Yeah. Sorry. Nothing always that there. I mean, I think inside they may be just burning and ready to snap their brush. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And angry, but they don't want to convey that. And quite often, I think, too, sometimes you can convey it without saying it. Right? And you see sure it you from can. coaches yeah, and sure. other the body language, everything, sure. and it's infectious, Vic. You can go, you know, is the glass half full or half empty? And uh, you've got three other players that have to perform well or you don't stand a chance either. And I, I think uh, that's one of the reasons Kelly's been so successful. 25-year-old yes, yes. Tracy Horgan. She got the rollout from Kelly Scott, so we're able to hit now just a single stone. Yeah, just enough. Just enough. Light. No, wait, we're good. Solid. Yeah. More ice? Yeah, it's good. 
Yeah. This will be a little different for them. We've said how well Ontario have managed it. It's a little different to be on television. Mm -hmm. They've sort of uh, been on the sideline a little bit. Yes, of course, they've been out in the arena playing big games. But this is a little more pressure for them tonight. For Kelly Scott to be successful, she has to make the saves. Now, this is not one, but this is a chance to get the feel for draw weight because often she does put herself in a position where she has to make a big draw to save an end. Well, she gives them a uh, chance to read this spot. We've, we've noticed in uh, both draws the, the center line's a little high. I don't mean the line itself, but it's almost like a, a roof pitch where the inside out shot, as you see, that broom was virtually in the center, there's almost six feet of curl. Consequently, going the other way towards the button, we found a few of the hits running pretty straight. That really surprised uh, Alberta and Manitoba in the afternoon draw on this same sheet of ice. We've it's seen three or four outside in blank opportunities missed wide, flashed completely. So the rocks, some of the rocks are running on that outside in shot, and consequently the one that Kelly just threw is busting. Always like to learn something. Why would Kelly draw to that side? Why wouldn't she put it right on the pin and make her roll a I would, I would think just simply because of Tracy's first one. There's Pebble okay. out there. She underthrew the first one. She's hoping she underthrows this and gets the big curl. There it is. Uh, there you go. I learned something. <laughs> Ontario forced to take the single here in the first. <laughs> it is Sandra Schmirler Day. It's opening Sunday of the Scotties, all in support of neonatal care across the country. And we have now topped $200,000, and your donation will be accepted at that number right through our coverage this evening. Thank you very much, Canada. Just the one update to tell you about. The rest of the sheets have been pretty wide open. Newfoundland and Labrador against Kerry Galusha from Yellowknife. This is Heather Strong out of the Valley Haley Country Club in St. John's. Difficult start for Strong and her 10th Scotty's appearance. She's got to run here a bit, just runs it back. A chance for the deuce. Made. For two. Thank you, Kathy. Everything else, the other two games, opened with blanks. Canada against Alberta and Prince Edward Island against Quebec. Ontario. Boy, it's funny. Maybe that's it. You talk about the experience. Russ, there was the experience of, of Kelly Scott realizing that particular sheet of ice may present some problems for Ontario. It did. She hit, she stuck, she took one. And now here in two, BC has the last Not rock. They have the hammer playing the red stones. Yeah, I think it was smart. You go down the middle, the, the pebbles worn off. It's a little bit straighter, a little bit more predictable. And out that wide, we saw Tracy's first one over curl almost, almost whiffed it on the inside. So it was a good move by BC to put it over there. Those move this was a typical line. start yeah. with the first rock in corner guard next Nine one four. in and there's the hit from uh, Jackie. It did appear to me the second draw played by Ontario didn't have much rotation and was sort of going sideways and that is perhaps one difference we will watch through this game. The BC team worked very hard on extra rotation trying to prepare for arena ice and maybe something the Tracy's team hasn't done as much. That stone certainly has good rotation coming down the yep, ice for yep, the hit. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good shot. Okay. Nice throw. Play a little narrow on mine, Chris. Just a little bit, but you needed a lot more ice. Good. This is also the end of a long day, the first three draw day. We've had a little bit of light snow, so. Maybe a little humidity in the air, people bringing it in. Does the, is the ice that much different after a third draw? 
Wait, this morning the teams yeah, were saying it was quite a bit swingier early, Vic. A lot more curl, especially with the hits in the first few ends. And again, that's usually the pebble. But I think what really happened uh, at the end of this afternoon's game is there's just a fraction of frost coming in. Uh, my guess is they had to pull the temperature down on the ice just a little bit because of the big crowds. Again, they can't exhaust the heat here. So the only way to keep the ice frozen, not from being water, is to crank it down a little bit. You crank it down, the ice gets straighter. So, but most of the players are used to that. You start off with maybe five feet of curl, you end up with four, no big deal. Well, the ice making crew is one of the best and it's headed by Dave Merklinger, who we've seen at numerous championships. And Kathy, you had a chance to talk with him. I did, and, and you're absolutely right, Russ. It did get a little bit warm and they were concerned about it. They brought it down a little bit, so that might have caused some of that straightening. They were able to drop the temperature in the building by over 10 yeah, degrees within 45 yeah, minutes and opening the door between <laughs> draws. It's did they ever? dramatic. It is much, much colder in here, but that's brought the conditions back. In terms of the snow, it is very light out there. It's not coming in on people's clothes. It's evaporating as they're walking in, so there's not a moisture issue tonight. It really is the temperature and that's because the crowds have been so spectacular and they had uh, close to 5200 was the okay. count for the afternoon draw and they were expecting as much if maybe maybe a few more because Alberta's on the ice tonight Heather Nettowin against the defending champions team Canada and Amber Hall and that's on the other side of the century when she did we just saw something that experience usually doesn't have happen, and that's the experience team, the BC team, making a brushing error. That one went through. They should have been communicating that and saying that they couldn't brush it until it absolutely had to get by because it went out the back. But they'll have another chance with that rollout. Just go back to the ice for a sec. Vic, I used to say it was tired ice when we had extra ends and the ice makers didn't have much time to cool the building or scrape. Oh, I didn't see and, that. Uh, I, I think didn't that it hasn't that. really been the case so Pretty far. We did have extra ends yesterday, but uh, haven't really seen that close time span between draws causing them problems. You know, it's scheduled beautifully, the time to work on it every time, and freshly scraped ice, as you know what, the curling club makes it a good 10 feet faster than if it isn't scraped, maybe more, depending on when the last time was they scraped it. And that extra 10 feet just makes it so wonderful to play on. That's nothing like tired eyes. <laughs> no, that's me, but oh, okay. the ice is fine. <laughs> Great form, good balance, no wobble Three, at all, four, straight four. shoulders. Good. Just Sliding wait. foot Three, right two, underneath five. your sternum. Wait's good. Five, six. Yeah, close for line. Yeah. Room. Room. Just for weight, just for weight. Little bump. It's not bad. Oh. Well, after a wide open first end, we have something going here in the second. Team Canada, Amber Holland with the last rock, Kathy. Well, it was a pretty defensive end as well. For Amber here, it, it looks as though this is a hit against two. Yeah, there are, there's a stone at the back. It's tough to say who is second shot. Is it? Take a look. One red. One red. Just one. Thank you very much. So Team Canada jumps in front of Alberta. No. Playing the tap, Try but if you're a little early. full and a little no, no, heavy, no, no. this may no, not come up enough. It has to cross the rock to tap it back. Like to save our red a bit. Good shot. Okay. Very good. A little rub, the little good roll, shot. and it does spill the Ontario stone into shot position. <laughs> I think I always want to curl the big screen like that. I think you're probably pushing a double. That's a cute comment from the front end that are down the Just far end as Tracy in her third. Yeah. Jennifer, look at this situation because there is the big screen in the building oh and the front end can see the angles a little better than if uh, you're looking what from you're this way, you don't see the depth of those rocks. I, I like keeping it. Okay. Normal or yeah, normal? normal.
That's normal, eh? Normal, roll it in a little bit. Tip. Got it, girl. Luckily for Tracy, she's played Straight both up. her shots so far in this game out wide, and this has to slow down a little bit when it grabs the fresh pebble, and it should curl more than normal. So it has to be a little bit on the aggressive side speed-wise. Amanda Gates, Jenna Engi. One more? Sure. Oh, then it'll punch it into the open back edge of the four. Forgot that was there. <laughs> and fortunately, that other yellow ended up third shot, so this leaves a hit to sit two. Yeah, that didn't help at all. And uh, when you think about it here, it's three over curls out wide. Now, is that the way she's throwing it, or is she just not getting it in her noggin that it's fresh pebble out there? I think they called fairly quickly on that one, so she might have been a little yep. inside. So, like here, do you think? Try to hit and roll under a bit. You could see about what half of that red one before. I'm not oh, sure. it's quite a bit more. It should be quite a bit more that way. Well, if it has but to move, it should be before I throw this. Well, on yeah. sheet B, that we showed work? you Newfoundland oh, Labrador and okay. Heather Strong getting right. two in the first That's final okay. rock coming up for the Northwest Territory Yukon's Kerry Galusha. And it's the exact same shot as she had on her first one. She had oh, hit and stuck, and Heather hit and stuck, so she knows the yeah. path. Vic. So this is a hit against two. Clean, ten and a half, ten. Clean, ten and a half, just clean, yeah. just clean. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the hit for the single. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly Scott wanted to flip underneath, and she doesn't quite get there. Nice throw, Kel. Like nice, nice handle. Yeah, softer. Yeah. yeah. Ah, Interesting comment. Linda soft her hand a little bit less. Yeah, I guess she was over rotating it a bit. They do play with a lot of rotation, and it's nice if you're an experienced player to be able to pull that back as needed. You got it, girl. Would love to roll a little bit farther over to that yellow one, and then you'd have to hit the top red, which is virtually buried. And the piece you can see will just jam onto the yellow. Potential chance for three. Pretty easy shot here now, and uh, nowhere to hide once you hit it. Final stone of the end for Ontario's Tracy Horgan. BC does have the last rock. Once again, huge drop, Gates and Engie. Don't want to crash on that stone top eight. Now it looks like she'll have a chance. BC will have a chance for the, the three spot. Here we go, PEI, last rock. And this is facing a couple, isn't it, Kathy? It is. Kim Dolan buried on her first. Maddie Faust went through on her attempted draw. Kim buried another one, but it is deep. All she needs is eight foot. Very nice for the single point. And Quebec's on the board against PEI. Both those teams, one and two, coming in. As a coach, I look for tells in a player to see if they are struggling with the pressure, and that's four over curls, as Russ has pointed out to me. Uh, for Tracy Horgan, and that one yes. was not even yes. close. And you have Do to it. think that's the pressure playing Hi. here tonight. Big game yeah. under the Great television team. lights. Clean. Clean. Just Clean. getting Clean. that rock started. Yeah. Yeah. Clean. Clean. Final stone, Kelly Scott. Nice Bang. Kill. And it is at a girl. three. At a girl, three for BC here in the second. Want to win a two-year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus S? You can log on to fordhotshots.curling.ca and test your online curling skills. And for every participant at this year's Scotties, they also had a chance to win a lease on this 2012 Ford Focus Titanium by testing their on-ice curling skills. The final, a battle of skips. Newfoundland's Heather Strong against Northwest Territories Yukon's 
Terry Galusha. And thanks to shots like this, the hit and stick right to the button, Galusha is your winner, winning a two-year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus Titanium. Don't forget to log on to FordHotshots.Curling.ca for your chance to win. And just like Terry Galusha, you too could drive away in a brand new Ford. Welcome back to our second day coverage of the 2012 Scotties, the Canadian Women's Curling Championship. We're in Red Deer and our featured game, British Columbia against Ontario. Both teams coming in with two straight wins to start round robin play. And BC jumps out with three in that second, as uh, Lyndon Russ suggests, maybe some nerves showing from this rookie team and in particular this rookie skip at the Scotties Tracy Horgan from Sudbury here in the third it will be Ontario that has the last rock they have the hammer playing the yellow stone it's an interesting Scotties from this particular standpoint we're seeing a lot of the defense of the corner guard as a come around by the team without the hammer and Russ you were saying earlier how many times we've seen it cause problems now that one for BC is just behind the tee line, but the camera will not be shot rock. So maybe yeah. Kelly Scott escaping a little bit there with that strategy call. Yeah, yeah I, I understand the principle going around the corner and you're sitting two and they all you know, right. fun we and games, them. but you we're, we're you virtually can't yeah. steal because the front's wide open for in this case the Ontario skip, and you're playing around that corner guard. If like that particular shot, if that's a little bit wider, how does Kelly get that thing out of there? It's dead buried and go frozen to your own rock. So it's. I, I don't like it myself. I've seen a lot of three enders given up and uh, chasing teams with the, when you don't have hammer around that corner. So the alternative is to just play into the open. The first one for BC was deep, almost through, so it wasn't a lot of help. But you could still put another one as they're about to onto the uh, other side of the house. Hope that the team hits and doesn't get a roll. Good guys. Yeah. 5-1. We'll play this through. Let's say... Uh, Team Ontario hits this dead on, then BC hits it dead on, then there will be an angle to play that double. If you make the double, you're sitting too buried around that corner guard. As we play second stones, Jenna Engie. Well, in this electronic age, uh, ice making has also become more electronic. Dave Merklinger, Merklinger and his crew have. Uh, ice reading stations throughout the ice surface and they can monitor it via computer and then tell where they need to increase or decrease the amount of brine. Interestingly enough, we found last week in Napanee and we were saying that the ice surface and the floor were so smooth, they actually have a laser on their Zamboni so that when the ice goes down, it's the same everywhere and then the ice maker on top of that yeah the thickness of the ice if it's pure all the way through the same thickness then you can keep a consistent temperature uh, i played in a uh, world championship in geneva where there was 12 inches ice at one end and an inch at the other and it was two seconds two full seconds faster one direction the other but that 22.1 uh, that's the gauge that's between sheet b and sheet c all the top players in the world train themselves, usually the front ends, to take a look at that as much as they can. Now, if you're on sheet A, it's hard to do, but you have a coach run out, whatever it is, or you get to know the ice maker as fast as you can and get into that room and, and see the computer because if it changes, and it did this afternoon, they have to lower the temperature because the ice will soften up because of the heat. There's a lot of air temperature heat in here with the lights and the people. So you've got a choice if you're an ice maker. Straighten it out a little bit or lose it. And you can pick up on what's going to happen to the ice if you follow that temperature. It will what go up and up and up it? as the game goes along, unless they have so. to force it down to keep it frozen. And Linda, it's come a long way since those uh, those legendary story days of the great Shorty Jenkins sleeping, literally sleeping in the ice plant room and listening to the compressors and being able to tell by how hard the compressors were working what, in fact, the ice was a few feet away. And we have some horror stories of when they didn't do that and you're in an arena like this and the crew that didn't understand what was happening came in and adjusted a dial and it, maybe that would have worked for hockey, doesn't work for curling. So you have to be oh so careful. 
So BC in a little bit of trouble here. It rolled the wrong way with one of theirs. Nice shot by Ontario to snuggle in near that red stone. And now Kelly will try and remove the backing from the yellow rock. Pick. No, no. We're close. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, 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 hard. Good sash. You can see what that corner playing in that corner guard might happen here. Oh, it's not it's not the end of the end it's yet, but with a couple of well thrown rocks here by Ontario, oh, they've got a chance for a decent score here. Yeah. Right, normal. At one point, Sasha was saying, should we pick adjust? that sideways? Mm -hmm. And it over curled. So we've again found a spot inside out that really goes. Yeah. Is the uh, double available here for uh, Jen Seabrook? I think it is, Vic. You might lose your shooter that way. They might just be happy getting the one and trying to save the shooter. And they'll punch it through the hole. And the shooter will hang around. Back edge. Nine and a half. You always wonder about playing after an emotional win, and it was that for Alberta and Heather Nedwin as she plays her last against one, two, three, four, Kathy. Well, but there's been some brilliant shot making on this sheet. It has not been the collapse of the nation as it might look. On Heather's first, she buried it. It looked completely buried, but Amber made a beautiful touchback to lie four. And so now Heather needs to draw, but she really only does need eight foot for the single. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Beth Hiskew 14, managing nine. the house. Jessica Mayer, Just Laney clean. Peters, the Easy. brush. Just clean. Nice throw. For a single to tie it with the defending champions, Amber Holland from the Chrono Curling Club in Regina. Or Chrono, Saskatchewan. The greater Regina area. My apologies to people oh. from Chrono. Normal. One thing when you haven't played on a lot of arena ice, all the little things that Russ and I are talking about, outside in, inside out, the amount of curl, the speed change during the game, those are new to you, and that's something the Tracy and your team will have to pick up. And I think that might have been just I a case of Tracy five, having right? some shots yes. going from the center there. line out okay. and really swingy and subtly moving to that straighter spot. So I don't think that was badly thrown. Not at all. And it's like you say, after coming up uh, narrow on four shots and uh, all of a sudden going to a straight spot, you could, no it was pretty predictable what would happen exactly there. Exactly like that this nice flick to the wing path. Like this morning then. Yeah. Yes. Now there's lots of yellow hanging around that house, so you want to make sure you get this draw in a good spot. Ontario had their chance if they hit that dead on, maybe made the back double, and if uh, Kelly hits a dead on, there would have been an angle to make the double and get that back red one that's buried. Be there on its own. Yeah. Okay. We got nine at least. Oh. Don't want to touch it. Kelly oh. Scott and her first oh, here in the third. Ontario like, with the last one. I don't know if it'll... I don't think... I don't we think can't really hold it. it to this, no. Boy, oh boy, Jackie Armstrong, oh, 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 oh. Sasha Carter have just walked this down. And out it goes. Can you try damage? Can they get around with the out turn, Linda, yeah. and tap this uh, yeah, yellow red combination? Definitely. Yeah. We know it curls. The uh, blank opportunity for Tracy in the first end over curled here. Well, they certainly have the guard that can run in. Yeah, that's what they're going to play. Heel. At least if we open it up, we might have a chance of something later. Yeah, for sure. I can't wait. We'll try the run back. Yeah, I like it, Chase. Almost Big a shot here. Back. If this is made yeah. perfect, they're laying three. Keep that uh, one out front around. You got it. Just a touch off center. Dead on might split the yellow right out. Just a hair on the inside. Need something maybe to settle the nerves. Whoa, whoa. Shaky start for Tracy Horgan. Come on, baby, come on. To come up for her. It's Ready. short hit. And sitting three. That and the shooter stays right there. That was a lovely shot. <laughs> a 
lot more relaxed look of the throw. Good ice call. Beautifully called as far as the line. Very nice. Having some fun at the Scotties. <laughs> what a great shot. Over here, you don't like it all? We'd be shot, no? <laughs> There have been We're rocks in play here every chocolate. end, Damn Kathy, and, and it is the final ball. rock on the way from St. John's, Newfoundland's, Heather Strong. Well, she may need a little bit of a roll. It's hard to see. On Heather's first, she played, tried to play a tap, but it rolled off. Carrie Galusha hit it. This is the stone that she's making the hit on now. Boy, Should be looks for like... two, I think. Well, I'm not sure. One, I think, at the top, right? Is that all? One for sure, and they'll take a look at those two reds at the back as well as the okay. one at the front. What is the gambler in you say? Okay. I just kind of think that they look like those Lipizzana ponies they are moving around here. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Yes, yeah. Well, they're going to probably put the stick to some of them, so we'll let you know what's going on, but one for sure. Is Kelly playing to come around around she the is. corner? She is. This is a really tough shot. We said right from the start that she was skipping herself into a tough situation. Yep. Missed her first draw. Don't forget there are two Seven. yellows on the side here, as well as two in behind cover. That's a lot of yellow granite Eight. in that house. Lots of room. Lots of weight. Nine. Well, they're Eight. calling eight, nine, so that's oh, back. Nine. Uh oh. Still lots of line Looks as like it's going to be back eight. four foot ish. It doesn't look, it look like it's too deep. As long as you're full back eight. Yeah. Oh, easy, easy. Got to stay shot. Great. Thanks, Cal. Perfect. Okay. Nice shot, Cal. Well, it looks like it did stop in time for shot stone. <laughs> And it's That's dead as nice very But even that, I took a lot off and it's still bad. Look at that. Goodness. Now this will Sorry show all the, the uh, fortitude of the young player here because you Maybe they're so easy to overthrow these. You want to tap it out, you want to tap it out. But in theory, T line, line weight out of the skip's hand will make this shot. The brushes can take it that extra yeah, few feet. So. You only have to bump it three or four inches. It's really the same shot that uh, was just thrown by British Columbia. And for a for the potential of maybe a four spot here. Final stone. Tracy Horgan. A little down. Yep. A little down. Picked up right away. Ten. Jenna yep. Engi. Amanda Ten. Gates. Five. 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 Moving big time. Got to get it by the yellow guard first. Got to get it by the guard. No, straighten it out. She's going to catch it on the way by. No, and it'll go as a steal, it looks like now. One for VZ. Wow. A turnaround draw. Last rock draw by Kelly Scott. Yeah. Tracy Horgan sees a steal go up on the board. 4-1 BC. Well, earlier we heard Kathy say it was a certain one. Well, they did measure it's two for Newfoundland, Labrador, and so they now are in front 4-1 over the team from the Yellowknife Curling Club. All right, key shot here, Linda. Well, I said that Kelly Scott's prepared to make saves. After missing her first, she had to try and get a draw in there, but a little Seven. fortunate with this one. Yeah, did. she made it on her own. No brushing whatsoever. That was virtually four feet heavy because any heavier than that, it's a hit for five and just slows down at the last second. The beautiful part of going that deep and hanging on by an inch is it's dead buried and it forces Tracy to a tough little shot. We talked about it in the break, Linda, the uh, nice little shot. bit narrow when you're under pressure. You tend to steer it a bit and just graze that garter. It was a shot for four. The key shot brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Stylish designs for any room. So it's 4-1 BC as we go to the fourth. And once again, Ontario and the team from the Heidelwild Golf and Country Club in Sudbury will have the last rock playing the Yellowstone. Right to it, guys. Right to it. I like what I see out of Ontario. You know, they, they had the uh, BC in a lot of trouble there. 
Tracy's uh, been narrow on quite a few that's hurt the team, but that wonderful run back it looked like was going to break that uh, that uh, shadow going there. And they, uh, I, I think they can hang in here. You know, this, uh, they're two and zero. They didn't expect they're going defeated. They're playing a great team, and it, it doesn't look like it's going to rattle them. Well, I thought, Linda, I said to you in the break, I thought that that run back would have calmed any nerves. But there's something, it's not maybe nerves, well, maybe it is the nerves, but you suggest she's doing something in a delivery? Well, she is. She's aiming the rock. And this is often a last rock thrower when you're thinking outcome. And it, you can't help it. You have to feel for the young player. She had a shot for a bundle to get back in this game. And if you can't get that out of your mind in the hack, then you do feel like you're aiming it as opposed to just throwing a stone. No, it's just a five. Kelly Scott's playing a little bit of fire again, leaving rocks around. Put the long guard on the nice rock in the house. Hard, hard, hard. Way to go, Daylene. Nice throw. Just forward. Hey, try to get that roll behind my corner. You got it, girl. Prince Edward Island and Quebec. Boy, we've got a lot of rocks in play here, Kathy. There have been that yellow stone that is shot at the back of the forefoot was the final stone just thrown by Marie-France Laroche. They had to sweep it to get it by the front. And so that creates an opening for Kim Dolan to get on top of it and get shot. Kim Dolan making a ninth appearance out of the Charlottetown Curling Club at the age of 53. Looking for a little bump up here, is she? Now she was playing the draw, but the bump certainly is an option. No, not enough. Steal one, Quebec at the back of the four, two nothing. Great little tap back by Ontario there to uh, loosen that frozen rock and it stayed in a pretty good spot here. 21-year-old Daylene Siverston, originally from Saskatoon. Linda mentioned she's a three-time BC Junior Champion and uh, was in Victoria and has moved to Kelowna to uh, be with the team when she got the invitation. Great. So. There's room here with soft weight. <laughs> If I'm up for one, I'm not putting this many rocks in play. I'm certainly, if there's rocks in play, not putting that many rocks out in front. Exactly. This is a good opportunity for Ontario to get a couple back. Just back line weight, allow it to get through the hole and curl a little bit to get it to the nose. Tap that back. Could have put BC in serious trouble here early. This is Jenna Engie. Got to get by that corner guard first. Shot stone. Looks like it may be the yellow. Still a good situation because yes, we don't want to. We don't okay. want to just open it up Amazing though. Yeah, exactly. The shooter. I don't know, Cal. We might do more damage by opening. No. We just guard it. Either guard it or come around. I think. Okay. I like this intro drawing. Don't you? I do. Yes. I'm like. Well, another good crowd, Kathy, here at the Centrium, and they want to get into the game. Here, Alberta is on the ice, but they haven't been able to get yeah. into it, and do, eh? here's a chance for Team Canada to take them even more out of it. Well, and it's really interesting tonight. Two very uncharacteristic misses this end by Heather. On her first one was trying to hit and stick. She hit and rolled out, and on her final stone, she missed the stone belonging to Team Canada entirely. It is wide open. So this is a draw for two for the defending champions, Amber Holland and Team Canada against Heather Nedewin and the Alberta champions from Edmonton. And kicked away in some frustration by Beth Iskew. Put two on the board, 3-1 Team Canada. That's not five over there. Vicky made a really good point. You and Kathy talking about the emotions of Heather Nadewen earlier today in her victory. And one of the things you learn when you play enough of these, of these competitions, you have to manage the emotions and the ups and downs of a long week. Well, we saw it yesterday uh, with Carrie Galusha. She won the hot shots. She won her opener. 
and, and it was an opener against Alberta. And then in the evening, she got she got smoked. Now it was a long. Game. I think it was partly fatigue in that case. That's for sure. Seven, eight, well, in this case, BC with another Hot miss and a chance for Ontario to choose between uh, playing the, the one side or coming yes. in. They decided to yes. draw in with this intern and beat BC to the place where they wanted to be. Look at that finish by the guard by a ton and still over curled. Two feet lighter would have been perfect, but still a good shot. Yeah. It forces uh, BC to make a real good one here. Just watch it because it really curls too. And you hear the, the warning. This might be the swingiest spot we've seen all week. Yeah, line. Sasha Carter as we Seven. play third stones yeah, here in this fourth. 4-1 four, BC. Hey, you can get off at your bike. He is on the right. Jackie Coming Armstrong on the left. No bounce. Go, right to the corner. Wow. 4 1. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. here. They had a ton on there, and they were nice totally bash. off it. Wow, did it curl. Look at that mess. Nice. This is a great call. I didn't. Uh, I didn't think Tracy had looked oh at God. it, uh, but this makes a ton of sense to me. If you can come yeah, down here with a bit of weight and move this yellow onto the red, the red is obviously gone. You would have two yellow in this area dead buried, and it also, once this rock here is gone, it frees up this yellow red combination. Could be a really good situation if you can make this. Just miss those guards, right? Yeah. I just have to move it back. That's the here. only yeah. stone not in play. Do you like That's that one at all? The only rock. Yeah. I think the you bumper. need to throw weight at it in order to make it past this one here. What are you trying to do, though? Hit, Come off this? No, hit this one onto here. that? Yeah. Penny, I don't Linda, think we can get there with that last guard, though. Yeah, so week at the... Wait. Okay, you want to try this first? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Canadian juniors in yeah, Napanee. On Just like One of the things four, that okay. Russ was remarking about, and I'm assuming you'll agree, and Kathy as well, the four, juniors have come a long thought, way in like terms of one? not only their That's mechanics, but their strategy. They're seeing okay. more, able to make more. They're playing better competition. Here's an example. Now she's changed her mind, hasn't she, Russ? Is she going well, for the, the draw I here? Yeah, I think. Um, Tracy wanted to play the angle raise, but uh, Jennifer wanted to play the top. Yeah. Well, and gonna call a timeout. Gonna... This is a very wise move. But here's right. something that, another, you know, junior teams maybe even five, seven years ago would not have seen that or even thought about making. And first of all, you often don't see them play such a complex situation, so they don't, don't get used to the angles, but we're seeing more and more of it. Since the free guard zone and, and the great ice conditions, more and more of the teams, I think uh, watching on television, I think watching the best teams play in the, in the yeah. big events, they're and picking up on this, and it makes a big yeah. difference. I think you're going to just jam dead on your own, though. I don't think you could actually, like, double yours out. I could, I could clip I think my you own. could, yeah. 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 But then I think if you clip it, at least it you might catch that on red. that one, yeah. What do you think, Lou? Um, like a come around tap, but you couldn't see much of it. Oh, it's over there, yeah. yeah. We have this run back here. We can try to pick this yellow one onto the red. At least there's no risk with me playing this top, probably. I don't but that. it's over buried, though, right? Yeah. Do you think you can get to it? I think I, it can, does I, think I can get to it to be second. Yeah. Okay. But lots of yellow, okay. lots of Newfoundland Labrador stones okay. facing no. the team from Yellowknife and Carrie Galusha, Kathy. Well, she's facing three on her first one, Vic. She tried to roll one of the stones to try to group them a little bit, maybe find a way to make a double, but wasn't able to. Heather Strong hitting and rolling back, and she can't really hit anything to get shot, and so this is the draw. Needs a bite of the forefoot. All you. Mine's good. All you. Get mine. Hard, it's curling. Boy, it's a huge scrub. As they try and get it around that stone. Oh, no, they will not. Steal of one for sure. Well, 
Once again, Laura Strong having a look. Two yellow. They said. So it's now 6 1 Newfoundland Labrador. Heather Strong from St. John's looking for her first win. And Jennifer get by this guard tight enough with light enough weight to curl. Got a really finish here. That was the danger. Sorry, Jen, we didn't see much weight. We didn't yell, though. I guess. Good try. Just too much weight. A little bit. And if we stop wide side, that's okay, I think. She might fire it in. Should we be hitting this thing? Do <laughs> this? If, yeah, so if we go a three and it's, say, wide open, I guess that's not the easiest way to double, because... She can't really do Gar much with like this Like, come right in now. on top of that or hit something. This probably isn't good, I guess. That, yeah, as long as we don't know. Do much with this right now. Nose is no good, right? No, not good. Well, why? She's got to hit this first, and then this is coming that way. I, I think I maybe like a hit. I think I do too. Yeah. She's got lots. Yeah. I like a hit. Yeah, we'll try to roll <laughs> in. I don't think a nose kills us because she's got yeah, a hit you're like right. this, and then that. I think we might want to eliminate. Few. Pardon? So well, do you it's like not that you it better. Um, I would prefer to roll in behind our red. Yeah, ten. Okay. Um, really? I thought we were going for inside. So just to confirm, Newfoundland and Labrador, it was a steal of two in the fourth. Two and two and two is six and one. I was thinking a ten. I think it's ten. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I yeah. agree with Kelly that the nose hits not a problem for the double because the uh, obviously the red yeah. would exchange this yellow would be up high enough you could hit so the red red double but the rock a, on the side of the button like would carry them in and end up being shot rock. But if you hit it dead on, I think Ontario can throw the same shot they just threw. Now that there's no backing, they might be able to tap that out. Kelly Scott and her first sword. No, sorry, Vic. She's trying to roll in behind that and make it harder to remove the one. Clean your but this is a tricky little spot for them. Just knows that's okay. And curl happens with soft weight. That's good, Cal. That ran fine. Yeah. A couple of options now because Kelly didn't roll there. This shot is still here. It's tough. We just watched it. But now there is no backing, so you should be able to get that out of there. But they could have played that original one that I talked about earlier. If you could ever come down here and run that in that way, you'd be looking pretty good. The, the default shot, if you can throw it soft enough and get by, you could hit here, eliminate the red, roll over, and eliminate this red. But I'm not sure you can get by this red guard tight enough to do that. Interestingly enough, she wanted to play this one with her sisters Little first. Little Jen Martin. Seabrook talked out of it. Now she's going to play it. So one of these shots, you almost have to miss it at the hog line. You can't hit much more than an inch of this shot. Otherwise, you're going to run it onto your own shot rock. Up normal. Whoa. Tracy Horgan. Got to come through the hole. Engie, Oops. Gates, nothing yet. Got to come through the hole. Got through the hole. Runs it back. And Into the button, and is she sitting two for sure? Maybe three. <laughs> wow, did she feather this guard? Oh. You only hit a good inch of that. Yeah, she really was yeah. thin on it. When I said hit an inch of it, she uh, must have been listening. Wow. Well, that's the shot I liked all along. Now, can Kelly get to the inside of that one yellow rock at the top of, at the 10 o'clock okay. position? If they can throw a soft weight, just chap off that roll to the pile. They might, Ontario might still sit two, but they'll never, it'll be very difficult to get more than two. If Kelly half. misses high side here, erects on a guard, it's a pretty easy shot for four. <laughs> Beautiful shot. The sisters, Tracy and Jennifer, they've been curling together for some 20 years. Would be this okay. is going to be a bit of a challenge to follow this path down because she throws very differently than Tracy and you saw how straight that hit was. So 
So there's a little bit of a question mark in your mind about the curl on this. You and I know the sheet better than they do. We were here this morning, this afternoon, and uh, Kelly's rotation, if she throws much more than draw weight, I, I can't see this getting past the corner guard, Linda. Maybe she's going to throw soft weight, that's all. This will run for the longest time. Ten. Eight. Ten's pretty good. No, we're lost. Armstrong Carter on the brush. No, no. Sivertson managing the house. She's got to find the hole first. There she goes. Now she's going to roll inside. Oh, she just spilled it in for sure. It's three now. Great comeback by Ontario there. Good soft shots, a couple of good angles, and uh, you just knew uh, with that rotation it wasn't going to finish, Linda. And there is a but. I think it's fantastic how well Ontario has played, but you don't leave rocks around like this if you're up four There's, to one. There's not many rocks in play, are there? Now, let me ask you something. The way those two stones are in the, the eight foot staggered like that, do you play the draw or do you come down to those and bang, bang, and roll in? Well, the beautiful part about it is I think the draw would be this, the, the shot you're used to playing as a skip, but you, I think you've got a default here, Vicky. If you are a little heavy, you can come off either one of those. Yeah, and just sort of direct it in, right? It's, it's long, leading right to the four As long as you don't say to yourself, I can be heavy and, and end up being way heavy. Just the draw is the shot, get it by the guard. You've got that yeah. as a default. So sitting three, chance for four here, Ontario. Going to use it for a little roll inside. Oh, and too far. They tried to hold it up. They tried to hold the line and take the ricochet. It's three for Ontario here in the fourth. As we welcome you back on this Sunday night, let's go right over to She Day. And it's uh, Team Canada leading on the scoreboard, sitting two. Final stone on the way, Kathy from Heather Nedowin in Alberta. Well, it looks really flat for any sort of double. Again, troubles for Heather Nedowin, rubbed a guard on her first one. This is a nose hit for the single. And that's what she'll get. So Alberta picks one up. In five, I'll go to the break. Team Canada leading 3-2, and there's a crowd still quiet here at the Centrium in Red Deer. Our featured game is two teams that are so far unbeaten, BC and Ontario, and if nothing will calm the nerves like a, a three. To me? That was you, Russ. Really? How did all these people know? Did you email How us? How nice is that? <laughs> <laughs> By tweeting. You tweeted. Tweet. 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 <laughs> you have... Please sing to me. It's wow. my birthday. How nice is Very that? Nice. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Good shot. 28 years old. How'd they get that started? I don't know. I don't know. How do you talk everybody into doing that? So two ends in a row, Ontario has made some great shots, got new position with lots of rocks in play to score. Now they put up the center guard, have a nice little tap on the EC stone, and they're sitting in dead there. Now this, I mean, would you agree with me? I mean, we should not see anything now at this point from any nerves. They should be a comfortable Ontario team. Right? Oh, I think so. I think you have to be. Yeah, I, I was really impressed when they uh, almost scored the four, gave up the steal. That's a five point swing. And uh, it would be so easy as a young team to let down, be a little bit embarrassed. You're down four one and uh, they played a real nice end there. Now, mind you, as Linda said, uh, they had some help. But uh, yeah, I think they're going to give uh, British Columbia all they can handle here. For a long guard to block Let's the hole. One little rub off this red. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Good. It's good, Jenna. 
say it's thank you. It's like twice in it. It's a tricky little one. If you hit it on the center line side, the yellow caroms off the red and probably stick dead on that other yellow. They have to move something here. Clean room. Oh, oh. Room. No. No. So they're going the other way, playing the yellow double. Skinny. Okay. Worked out very nicely, moving yeah. the red one up. <laughs> Trying to maneuver them around a little bit after the bad start. Yep. Hand yellow, the one closest to the rings, isn't guarding the shot rock. It, it potentially will block any outturn path. So they'd love to get both of them here. Yeah, yeah. Real hard. Hard. Really hard. Yeah. Hard sash. Good. Good shot, Jaylene. Excellent moves. Everything out of the way. I think Kelly Scott learned a little bit of a lesson here, Linda. Two. Well, I, I, I hope so. <laughs> I guess that's the answer. Two ends in a row, too many yeah, rocks in play. This five, end, yeah. the problem was caused by Jackie Armstrong, uh, the lead coming up short on a come around attempt. You call the right shot and you don't get execution, that's one thing. Yes. That does happen. My two. complaint, I guess, was that two ends in a row, I didn't like the strategy that was being two called. Half. Sandra Schmirler Day, of course, here at the Scotties. Her yeah. legacy, the foundation in support of neonatal care across I our country. There's the number to call. And we have a challenge for all previous Scotty winners from our own Linda Moore, who challenges all those Scotty winners since 1982. To a five hundred dollar donation. Yeah, that's nice of you, Linda. That's a great so. cause, and I really would like anyone actually who played in the Scotties to get involved and send whatever you can into the foundation. Earlier today, there was a fifty thousand no. dollar checks no. given to the Red Deer Regional Hospital Whoa. for equipment to help their babies in crisis stay in the city rather than be flown to either Calgary or Edmonton with heart conditions. And your donations now are up to $208,000. So we say thank you. And we'll continue to take your calls as long as we're on the air today. Well, they just I think it's yellow, but it's close. I think so, too. Yeah, what a great opportunity here to freeze one in there. Well, that was another mistake. We have seen a couple of stones that have close to that draw tap weight really Where's die the at the end even with good right rotation and that fooled them they needed to keep the red in front of the yellow make a little tap and sasha's famous words were i don't think i can get to the inside and she almost mm -hmm. missed it on the inside with a little softer weight they just didn't uh, they didn't believe that could happen and a little bit of brushing would have saved that great opportunity here for ontario to sink another one here i believe there's shot rock already setting one and two guards out in front just gonna get by the corner guard here first Calling plan whoa, B. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Good thought, Jen. Just a bit hot. Yeah, one thing now that is unfortunate for them because they've lost the shot. I think I Their yellow was wide been. open, and now those three guards out in front have overlap situations weight. and can't be run I in. I think I had back eight. They just, I can throw you a couple feet more. Tap it to back eight. Yeah. I'll give you, you a bit more. 
you know what, Sash? If we did a hard clean, that would have been back. That's what yeah. I kind of think too. Okay. Same throw, same shot. Sivertson and Armstrong hard, in the brush. Hard, 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 hard. That Boy, really goes. And that it ever. Speed really comes off it on that curl. But they didn't have to hold the line to sit the two. Holy cow. Yeah, man. Yeah, how glad it is. Well, over on sheet B, it's all Newfoundland Labrador 6-1. <laughs> They're coming off a steal of two, and more problems here for Carrie Galusha from Yellowknife, Kathy? Well, yeah. yes, but just because of a really okay, nice last go. stone by Heather Strong. That's the yellow stone that is nestled in there and is currently shot. No real way to get it out, and so it will be a draw. She can try to tick it sideways. All she has to do is move it maybe two inches and it might get, be enough to get her two. Shona Barber on the brush. There you go. Just trying to move it enough, did she? Hey, Carrie. And maybe just trapped it straight back. Instead, it is just the one red. And a 6 2 lead, Newfoundland Labrador, as Heather Strong from St. John's looking for her first win. Just one over here. That's a very nice draw by Ontario sitting a rock in front of Shotstone. I guess we had to sweep a little bit. Yeah, they're just saying it now. They're figuring that they could have brushed that. You, know, yeah. you hate to be critical. It's in a great spot. It could probably force them to BC to one, which is probably the objective. But uh, believing in that massive curl, they could have jumped in that sooner and tapped it back for Shot Rock. Take that shot. So she does this is enough for a two? Yeah. You could go more. Yeah. It's close for the second yeah, point. Yeah, just guard, eh? Like a high guard. Yeah. Right. Because she might choose to run it, so. So what's it What's it doing for weight here? A little stuff? Four, Four seven. Eight. Yeah. To T. A little more. Four that seven. That definitely looks like yellow is mm. second shot. Kelly Scott at her first. Three. She does have the last rock here in five. Mine's gonna be Get good. Ready, guys. Four. Get ready, Whoa, you gotta then. bring it. Whoa, Three. if you're four. Whoa, it line will be fine if you're four. Three. Still four. Whoa. Three. Just Whoa, three. line's fine. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, Cal. Not a lot of time if there's Wait. not much on your second one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Our time's okay. tight, Sash said, so there's nothing. No. Okay, so probably just don't guard that. Yeah. Okay. Pardon? What do you mean? If we're second or not. Oh, we're second. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. So they agree with you. Jen Seabrook has a, a look just to make sure they are second. Guard her draw. Okay. Two, three is good. Oh, do you think we're second? Yeah. Okay. So like could run in that red one if you wanted to. It's a little bit dangerous. You got it, girl. Happy with the force, though. Yeah, the way this game has gone yeah. in the last few ends, I think they're feeling quite comfortable with only giving up one and getting that hammer back. Felt like lost. Three. Lost the three. Line. Lost the line. Might glide out there. It is gliding. It's a three, two. Whoa. On its own. That's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. And before it even stops, Kelly Scott is on her way back. I don't know if they've. Nice one, Chase. 
She said, I heard her say they're a little concerned about time. That was a nice week. And I think, are they just going to pitch this one? They said if they were tight on time and there was no shot, they would just Come do it fast. Minute, eh? Not stand around yeah, and ponder they when are. they don't think there's a shot. So final stone. Wait, wait on line, guys. You can. Off line. Off. Off. Whoa. Trying off. to sneak by that red guard and hope it nope. curls really big coming yeah. in. Might nope. have a Still chance, but it's one. pretty tough. And she'll so crash in wait, front. Now they'll we'll have look at these other one more look. That's the one. Now to have a. Yeah, just one. Okay. One it is. Thank you, ladies. BC will pick up one here in five. So go to the break. British Columbia, Ontario, both undefeated coming in, and BC will have the lead through five. Sanders Hurler Day continues here at the Scotties. It's been a wonderful day so far. Let's finish it off in style. There's the number to make a donation. The 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? By Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. And by World Financial Group, proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. It's always a special day, this opening Sunday of the Scotties. It's Sandra Schmirler Day. And we thank you, Canada, because our call center here has been very busy. Sandra Schmirler, of course, it'll be 12 years uh, next month at her untimely passing. And then in 11 years since, the foundation, her legacy in support of neonatal care across the country has benefited now upwards of, I think, 23, 24 hospitals, including the hospital here in Red Deer. Earlier today, a $50,000 check was written for the regional hospital to buy equipment to prevent those babies who would normally be flown off to Edmonton or Calgary for heart conditions. They can stay here now in Red Deer. So we thank you. Your donations are appreciated. So far, we have raised in excess of $210,000. The call center will be open for one hour after our broadcast. To all the volunteers and to everyone involved with the foundation and to you especially at home, Thank you, Canada, for making this a very special Sandra Schmirler Day here at the Scotties in Red Deer. <laughs> British Columbia with a 5-4 lead over Ontario after five. Let's check the numbers, Linda. Remember the stolen point by BC. That was a huge save by Kelly Scott getting a draw in position. But speaking of draws, look at the struggle for BC at 61%. That's why overall their numbers are lower. But one more thing, strategically, BC has played 25 draws and only 15 hits. Remember they had a big lead after three. So both the execution and the strategy have to be questioned in this first five for BC. And numbers after five brought to you by Tim Hortons. It's time for Tim's, the score clock here at the NMAX Century, home of the Red Deer Rebels of the Western Hockey League. And they're on an eight game road trip as the Scotties takes over their house. Their next home game will be March the 2nd against Swift Current. And so here in the sixth, It'll be Ontario that has the last rock playing the yellow stone. Okay. All right. After a slow start, you have to be impressed with the young skip from Ontario. Yeah, she's had a few throws that weren't the best, but really they've been struggling so well to get back in this game. And boy, did they put rocks in great spots. And the angle, the thin. Uh redirect with her uh, first shot in the uh, fourth end was just a thing of beauty and could have scored four. Thought your, uh, thought your statistic or your thought or 
about the lack of draws or the problems with draws for BC. I wouldn't have seen that. Where'd that come from? That's curious to me. I yeah, just, how I BC see, is, yeah. You know, they, they're not getting the draws in the right spot and it, how costly it is is the fact that they were light on a lot oh, of those yeah. draws that cluttered the front. That meant Kelly couldn't really save them on the, the next required save and that's when they gave up the three. Great shot. I guess the nice thing for BC, it's a long week, first of all, and you're going to make mistakes and your mind's going to get a little cluttered and you're going to call some bad shots. The nice thing is they are actually still leading on the scoreboard. They've had a chance to talk to the coach at the fifth end break and maybe settle things down a little bit. So it's uh, still a long five ends to go. I'm not saying that BC is out of it because of the way they played a couple of ends. But they usually are more conservative, aren't they, Linda? And, 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 and they end up in a lot of close games, and that usually bodes well for uh, Kelly Scott. She wins a ton of those close games. So like you say, it's not like they're out of this thing at all. Wow. <laughs> Is that all you can say is, wow, Kathy, and this is, I guess, a draw for uh, a possible single for Team Canada? It is indeed. On Amber's first one, she tried to get in, and she is second shot. Probably about half exposed, but it definitely goes on the Alberta stone. So Alberta elected to throw the guard, and so this is why it is a draw. She needs a little bit more than a bite of the four. Yeah, shot stone is just biting the top four foot at about 2 o'clock. Whoa, sliding, whoa. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Oh, have a look now. Beth Iskew. Measure. Having a look on <laughs> Schneider and uh, yep. close enough to have a measure, so we'll let you know. That would be a big mistake oh, for Team Canada. That Try. would, uh, a steal there would tie the game. Interesting then that shot there didn't seem to be I mean like she wasn't that line? heavy she went back nine. four but there seemed, didn't seem to be the finish there. Well, I think it was just yeah. that tiny bit heavy maybe and it didn't crank in there and that was a brushing error for yeah. sure. It certainly was because Kim was yelling it hasn't curled yet it hasn't curled yet and, and what she's trying to say is once it curls it'll die it'd be a better way for it to curl and they did brush it just enough didn't they? Just a nine. Sasha Carter. Yeah. That's a nice shot. Yeah, yeah. Linda, you were saying that, and you've seen this BC team as much as anyone has, their style has changed. Is it because Gina Schrader isn't on the team? Normal. Yeah, I think that's part of it for sure. That little shake up in the lineup, even partway through the season, meant that they tended to play a little more conservatively. That's why I'm so surprised. The final in BC Normal. was quite wide open. It ended up tied coming home, and Kelly had to make her last shot. And uh, that's what I thought they would like to play, is a little more in the takeout style, a little more open, not leave teams like Ontario who draw well, chances to get back in this game. Kathy? Interesting, because I did talk to Kelly Scott about just that, Linda, before the game, and not the rotating door on thirds, but she's had quite a bit of change since Gina left the team to have another child. And she said, you know, she relied on Gina so much that what she's trying to do now is rely on herself not take somebody else's input as much as she did Gina. She feels that ultimately it's going to make her a better player, but she says she definitely has lots more not moments of indecision. Well, not the cold shot. I have thrown some. Well, and part of it, it would seem to me, is by t having Sasha move up and play that that third position, that would add to the comfort factor, at least, would it not? Yeah, she definitely knows the throws very well. Sasha's played with her since juniors, but it's nice that Sasha stays as a brusher, Vic, because Sasha's really that support person down at the half, so she gets the best of both worlds. Come on, cross the line, fully off the line. Just two. Come on, two. Come on, Clean, clean, clean. Way to go. Boy, is there a... Uh... 
them off the line hard. Angle raise here for available for Ontario. There might be an angle with the, uh, you could run the long yellow one for yeah, sure, Vic, that, that, that would be difficult. Uh, but uh, I'm wondering if you get around with the intern and hit sure. three quarters like of that, that top yellow rock. You could get it a billion different ways. Um, That's the one I was yeah, thinking you of. You turn around that yeah. one that was just thrown, yeah. yes. I, I think I like your call, Vic. You can play on my team. Up normal? Play. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> you like this, Linda? Well, they're opting for the run back on the yellow guard. You could tap this across the sheet, put it in the ring somewhere with some softer in. weight. Whoa, whoa, Jen Seabrook. Oh, this is going to be... Uh, Run back and get it that way. Oh, oh goodness. And now the race stone, though, will spill out into the open, sitting top eight just off center line. You know, it looks like a little bit of a lucky shot when people hit these angles, but in truth, if you leave these rocks around as BC is doing, you're giving them options, uh, lots of different angles that can be made, and that was one of the options. You heard Jennifer say we had lots of options Absolutely. if we run this in, and it, it certainly was. Even if she completely missed it, there would have been options. So, But now there is an option here also for British Columbia. Kelly, with a, a bit of weight, can either roll buried for Shot Rock or make the double. Kelly Scott. Ten two. Looks like a lot of ice to make the double. Are they just maybe playing the hit and roll? And I thought it was just the roll actually, but she gave it a really positive release. I'm not sure it'll come up for that. We talked about it before, and that outside in towards the center line just doesn't climb up. Nice weight, Cal. I think it was a pretty good release, pretty good throw, well, Linda. They speed. Like, go better than that. See what she said. There it is. There, she thought it would curl more than that. Normal? Yeah. It's a little flop. And also taking a lot of ice, so this would be more like a control weight, a little less than her regular so normal here, speed. Little roll in. Okay. You have to be careful if you roll buried. <laughs> I was about to say the same <laughs> words. Yeah. And they roll off the other yellow. You've got two guards for their shot. It's getting a little scary, Russ. I'm finishing your sentences. Yeah, that's unreal, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. Little hot. Whoa, hot. Ooh. Whoa. Not very forgiving if you're wide here. Oh. Tracy you Horgan and her yeah. first. Oh, and it doesn't come up for her. And it spills out the back. Oh, oh and that little jam, jam now. So a it's a biter hard. at the back for BC. I've been missing everything narrow, so <laughs> I didn't want to miss That's fine. Narrow. Absolutely. It's funny how you plant things in your mind. Yep. And we often say what you're trying to do is perform the shot, not think about past shots, not think about outcome of what will happen once the shot is made. Just perform it with the best release and weight you can. And she just said, I thought about all the times I was narrow, and then I, that's what happens. You throw it the other way. Some of those narrows were, were nerves. Some of it was ice reading. The, uh, the first four shots she threw were really wide, out in the pebble. Grabbed some pebble in the first two ends, and it curled a little bit. And, but that spot, as we just talked about it, we just saw Kelly missed a double there. It's pretty straight there and uh, an overcorrect at the wrong time. And, you know, that little catcher at the back, I mean, I know you're supposed to be aware of everything in and around the house. Yeah, I don't even think she me. thought that was possible. No, yeah. not at all. She didn't yeah. plan on hitting half her arm. Pretty thin. Yep, yep. yep. Chance here to yep. force. Yep. Clean, clean. Just clean to stay. And she will sit nice there call, and Bailey. sit too. Here you go, Cal. I'll be honest, as soon as we weren't rolling out. <laughs> Keeping you updated, of course, like Newfoundland and Labrador's like leading and PEI and Quebec, they Sorry, come no. in at one and two and they're both tied, two, two.
So the miss with her first. And now forced to draw and needs a piece of the eight foot for a single point. Tracy Horgan. Take a look. Even if that weight's there, one of the two brushers keep one of them down. Nice sweep, guys. For a single point for Ontario here in six. Both teams looking to remain unbeaten or tied at five. That was a good goal. What positive thing came out of that? There are many special moments at every Scotty's. However, last night here in Red Deer, a meeting took place that had never happened before at this event. Kim Dolan led Prince Edward Island onto the ice and with her daughter Sinead playing second. And the Northwest Territories featured Sharon Cormier at third and her daughter, Megan, at lead. Mothers and daughters have been teammates before at the Scotties, but never had two sets appeared in the same year. And so for the very first time ever, two mothers and daughters faced each other in a Scotties game. Now, both moms admit that it is a dream come true to play with their girls on curling's biggest stage. And for both daughters, well, they get a chance to spend a week on the ice with their moms. Well, that's a pretty neat experience, too. Prince Edward Island and the Northwest Territories aren't among the favorites to win this year's Scotties. And the names Kim Dolan and Sharon Cormier aren't likely to be added to the Scotties trophy. But someday, when they both look back at this year's event, that won't matter one little bit. Very nice. As we welcome you back. And the Scotties is always special. And when you come to a city like Red Deer that appreciates its curling like this city does, makes it even more so. We are tied at five as we go to the seventh British Columbia. And Kelly Scott in her third straight appearance as BC champion will have the last rock playing the Red Stone. And that draw wage is still elusive, in this case for Jackie Armstrong. Two nice shots for Ontario to start it off. But the BC strategy, which is probably not a bad one, to draw open side when the center guard went up, goes all the way to the back, almost through. And that left the come around for Ontario. Ontario responded with a beauty and a great spot. I would like to have it a little bit deeper if you're trying to steal, but all the same uh, job done. Dead Barry. Plan B here. They can't make the freeze as deep. They don't want to chop off. So they're going to try to sink it in behind. Hurry, room, room. What happened to hers then? Pardon? Where's hers then? I guess I have it. Kathy, you're on deck here, 6-2 Newfoundland and Labrador, and uh, they have a chance to add to it. Well, they do. For Heather Strong and the team, they looked at the angles for a long time, electing to play an outside shot into the button to remove shot stone belonging to Carrie Galusha. Mole well, gets rid of a few, and there's your shot stone sitting top of the forefoot. One more for Newfoundland and Labrador, and Heather Strong, 7-2, she leads. Line straight, guys. Take a look. Yep. Room, six, room, six, room. six. Six. Yep. Yep. Hard line. Hard. 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 Yes. Hard. 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 Oh. Great way to From the little chat we heard briefly from BC, I think they probably moved some stones around. I heard them earlier saying they didn't like a stone. I think it might have even been one of Jackie's. That may be why you saw a deep draw. It Change the uh, kind of stone, the speed of that stone. So I can throw a little lucky here. The yellow one bounces so open. Just yeah. enough that you can get to the inside with the appropriate weight. A little heavy is problematic. You'll hit the three quarters on the high side. Could jam on your own. We know it's pretty straight here. Keep 
losing them right at the end. That's amazing, isn't it? Why is that? Try, Cal. Well, it's straight with weight, but when you get into that four-foot bend, into the slide path, we are seeing the finish even with weight, and that is catching them. They're not prepared for that. And we heard it over on the uh, the Alberta Candy Game where Kim Schneider was yelling, wait till it gets to the middle, wait till it gets to the middle. If it doesn't, doesn't break, it won't die. And uh, so it's obviously getting a little bit flatter down the middle, and that's understandable with both practices. And we're into the seventh end here already. A lot of rocks down that center. Now this one got started early. A little bit inside, and the curl started pretty quickly, and just a rub. Tracy, that picked in my hand. Okay, it was a pick. I was wondering, it seemed to really jump out of her hand. Ten. But a big break here for BC. The Yellowstone is now open and can be hit to sit three. Sivertson. Yep, yep, shooter, yep. Oh, and he'll just Way avoid go. the jam at the back. Rolls Way the go, shooter baby. over too. Yeah. Well, Team Canada yeah. up 4-2. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. sitting one, it looks like, back edge and... Is there a chance? Can you move that stone back, Kathy, to yeah, possibly get so more so. for Alberta? No. Okay. <laughs> that uh, that shot stone was just a fabulous shot by Amber Holland making the hit and roll. There is virtually no space, and it is overburied in a spot that is not finishing hard on the sheet. And so this really is a draw to the eight foot for one. Yeah, you are just uh, full of happiness for Alberta fans, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> and really, as I said earlier, this Alberta... The crowd here in Red Deer hasn't gotten into this yet. Uh, 15 2. Not like they were this afternoon when Alberta played Manitoba. So Heather Nedewin does draw for the single, but it is still the defending champions, Team Canada and Amber Holland, with a 4 3 lead going to 8. I think out turn. Once we have a piece, let's go away. Eh? Yep. Yeah. Pretty nice shot by Jennifer there, but I'm not sure if that back one's out. It's really hard to tell if it's a biter, the little red one at the back of the house. Ten, you have to hit this at the right angle to get the yellow out past uh, Shot Rock. Uh, oh, no, this is outside nothing. the line. This could run. That's oh. fine. Good, Sash. That's fine. Yeah. Nine, eight, Nine, one. Now, Kathy and Brian Mudrick will be with you on Monday morning. It's family day in many provinces across the country. 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and their featured game will be Ontario against Alberta. 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Family Day. It certainly is Family Day here in Alberta, and I know in Ontario as well. And the PC families think probably that one is in, if you're an optimist. It looked like it might be just on the edge of the black line circling the house. Great camera angle there. It's because uh, over, the overhead, keep in mind, is right over the pin. So it's looking at a bit of an angle at that rock. Ooh, almost got it. So from here, it looks like it's out for sure. But I, I, my, my gut is it's in, Linda. From that angle, it certainly looked it. Ten. Ten, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. It just has to be touching that black line, the outer piece of the house. It looks like it might be right over top of it. Assuming the circles are exactly 12 feet, and assuming they drilled the hole on the button Nine in the exact right go. spot. Thanks to our crew for getting those great shots. Hard! Clean! Clean! Clean it! Let it work! Let it work! Nice dash. Great shot. Way to go. Nine, six. <laughs> Chance to roll buried here. If you roll buried, you'd be pretty close to making the double. Normal, try to roll it behind the guard. Now we'll see if Tracy can block out all the thoughts of what she's trying to accomplish and just make a nice clean throw. Whoa. 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 
Come on. Try, Chase. I think it was a nice throw, just with that up weight and didn't want to move. And again on the straight side. A little lull, and I think maybe BC with a little change in strategy playing more open mm -hmm. this end, and so far quite successful with it. Oh, I Probably not what Ontario wants, but certainly okay. benefiting BC at this point. If we can get in, take it away okay. from her. It's to 10. Okay. Keeping you busy, Kathy. Yeah, lots Go of ahead. rocks. Go ahead. Well, the red stone belonging to PEI is shot. And Kim Dolan's last one, she was trying to place it, biting the top of the heart. She would have been lying two and no way in, but she came deep. And so many fans can come down to the top of it. There it is. You see it on the hearts for the single. Maybe even bring two into the picture. Right. Well, the shooter will roll off, and now it's a question of PEI being one or two. One PEI stolen point, possibly two, and looks like they're going to do a measure. So Prince Edward Island has that one at the back of the button. And we'll update you on uh, what they've decided and how many. And poor old Ontario, when we said we thought the backman was in, there was maybe still some doubt. No doubt now they jammed. We wanted to cross it and hit it straight back. It hit it on the right-hand side uh, as we're looking at it. And they uh, could have swept it a little sooner go the other way. And they just got caught in between. And it's easy to do. You, As a vice, you're trying to make sure you get the back one. That's the main thing. And they uh, unfortunately hit it right on the nostrils. And... Chance for two. I didn't know Stones had nostrils. <laughs> I was just going to ignore it. <laughs> as, uh, as usual. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Did you say something, sir? Nine eight. Yep. Yep. So playing yep. this we'll different turn, it. this should be a little swingier. Boy, this is a great opportunity. Oh. Don't want to throw this one away. Oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. Wow. It was a, a gift, and you gave it right back. Okay, girl. Missed opportunities. We count them up. The end of the day, end of the week. There was one for BC. We'll get the single. And after the measurement, it was a stolen point for PEI. And they now lead Quebec. A reminder, the phones will stay open one hour after we leave the air on this Sandra Schmirler Day. The foundation in support of neonatal care across the country. Yes, champions start small. Make your donation if you haven't. We're over $220,000, so thank you, everybody. We want to go quickly live to the game on sheet B. And let's see, uh -oh. Kathy, Four one, five. two, three yellows. They belong to Newfoundland and Labrador, so Kerry Galusha is facing that with her last one. Well, she is, and Heather Strong has done a great job of Line keeping it. those stones separated. There's no hit on any one of them, so she's trying yeah, to go between the yeah. stone on your left and the stone in the middle yeah. to the forefoot for the single. Okay. Wow. A little rub, oh goodness. They, you know what, they let off the brushing for that yeah. moment. And it is a steal of one more 
for Newfoundland Labrador and Heather Strong looking to win her first Good now eyes. and comfortably in control. Pretty close to the same weight, throws. I, I think so, yes. Yeah, I would agree. 66. Wait if you can. Lots of Well, family. it was Ontario with the miss with her last one, goes. Tracy Horgan. That was a gift. And then Kelly Scott well, re-gifted and gave it right back when she had a chance for Seven two and settled for the single. So it's 6-5 as we go to the yes. eighth. Yes. Yes. And Ontario yes. does have the last rock playing the Yellowstones. And a nice start for them. There was the first one in, just top eight, corner guard, like BC guard, and then a nice right now, come yeah. around by Ontario just behind the T-line. been a funny game though uh, Linda Russett's you know, first we thought my goodness BC looking very sharp they get their three then what do they do they leave rocks in play they give the three back and neither team really seems to have played with very much sharpness tonight it seems almost you know that old cliche the uh, last one to make a mistake it does seem like that in this game especially the draws as we talked about earlier the positioning of the draws have not been very good and then suddenly one yeah. mistake out and you get away with the mistakes on the draws. I'd love to talk to Skelly, Kelly Scott after the game because after that steal, a fortune steal in the third end, which could have been a four in the other direction for Ontario, maybe was she thinking this is a young team, it's the first time here, let's keep the gas pedal down and put them away because played a very, very aggressive end with a, a big lead on the scoreboard and it, uh, it obviously backfired. Would that surprise you, Linda? I mean, I understand. We talk and talk about you when you manage your team. You look at your opposition. Maybe they're full of nerves, she thought. She could see them shaking out there. Maybe that's what Kelly was thinking. Well, I, I don't buy into that because okay. I think, as we said, there's actually been a few option calls by Ontario where they played runbacks and it hasn't been exactly what they called. But you leave rocks around and you leave them those chances. I think it's just not the right call. Speaking of that, here we go again. This is this is not wrong if you bury this welded on the uh, on the button, but you're in big trouble if this isn't made. It's short. You know, it, to start this end, there were some nice shots. BC could have peeled the corner and opened up the back one and then said to Ontario, OK, you decide what you want to do. But instead, they're playing with this quiet game and the draws one more time, not in the right spot. They got a little lucky that that rolled off. Yes. Yeah, that, if that had been an overlap, boy, would they be in trouble. There's actually three reds they can use at this point in time. I think an 80, 85, 80. So Jenna Engie, Ontario does have the hammer. And they are sitting two. Are they coming through the hole? Yes, they are Vic, trying to come right around everything. And it, it's, it's just as questionable also. And, it, you know, you, you don't want to criticize every uh, single shot here. But they, if you don't make this, even if you make this good, there's a run back, obviously, for uh, Team BC. And she's going to rub off, fill the hole. It's not bad, girl. That works. That was a lot more than we thought it was. It actually works really well. Huh? It works pretty good. Changes the it looks better. better. What's that? That looks better. I'm just throwing like back four, eh? Yeah, yeah, straight tap. Yeah. Team BC must have made the decision at the break okay. to uh, okay. go for the steal here, I think, Linda. Yes, otherwise you could play a hit. You could hit the yellow one and maybe roll over open things up a bit but we're going to try and tap the top red one now we just finished saying that top was available it was moved a little bit by ontario making this a lot tougher room seven room seven let it work just get out seven just seven just whoa 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 i got this gonna go hard cal she didn't quite throw, run it straight back, rubs on her own. It is still Ontario sitting the two. It's maybe a bit too much ice. Wait, was pretty good, and eh? it's a rock yeah. pile yeah. in front. If we could have gone, it would have been perfect. And those yeah. four reds so are in a nice spot, and this is a little dilemma right for Ontario. The outside, uh, I like it. Tap You'll probably need, like, hack weight, eh? 
How much? Half. Could run either one of those reds into the middle of the two reds that are in the rings and spring them through the opening. It is definitely getting messy if you have the hammer. Out, tap? No, you don't like that. Um, the one up, the one up the center. Yeah, let me have a look. Might be tough. Might be a tough hole. So they're going to play the double no, raise, are they? On their yellows? The yes. Yeah. Yep. Trying to get it in behind cover. Behind okay, you've got okay, two in there. You know that those reds at the top to could be run back. I want to hit half a rock could you put a stone, one. a yellow stone okay. anywhere, an Ontario stone anywhere yeah, to maybe yeah. take yeah. some of those yeah. runs away? Yeah, you can certainly yeah. guard one of them, Linda. I don't think you could guard both. Both those reds can uh, go back onto either red and then do some damage. I think what, sorry, I think what they're hoping, Linda, is that they make this properly, which is not oh, simple, oh, a double yeah. raise with lots whoa, of ice, whoa. but it forces uh, BC to start whoa, clearing the front. Whoa. I was going to say, this is a tough spot. Is Remember, we've wait? had this yep, do yeah. a lot of things. Should Run, be. curl. Oh, not quite enough. That was a lie. I'm sorry. Let's take a look at some of the numbers, and in particular, okay, the ready? thirds, Linda. A little bit of an explanation of why we've seen the scoreboard bounce around, because their numbers have bounced around, and both thirds struggling with draw weight. The Rock's not getting in the right spot. Sasha Carter, the more experienced and the bigger numbers at this stage of the game. The player numbers are brought to you behind Capital One. What's in your wallet? They hit this almost exactly where the broom is. They're taking very tight ice here. They're now kind of caught on to the outside in uh, later in the game. Straight straightness. You could potentially get three yellow here. She's playing the red. Really? One onto the yellow, and they'll spill the red oh, in that's for that's second that's shot. That's it's that's really that's close. Ooh, I just pinched it. Shoot, because she had a nice weight. If I could have just kind of worked the line better. It's like one, it's just one, right? Yeah. Um, I could play the same top. Might again. be able to come down here with a pile of weight. This one goes right through the hole for free. Can you spin that one far enough and get it out of play? If you do, you'd be sitting one, two, three. I don't really see what she has up there. Hmm. Do you think you can get to know? I don't. Almost though. How much can you see? Like more than half. A good half. Overrun. Sheet A, Team Canada, for the 4 3 lead, trying to win their third in a row, playing Alberta. Final rock coming up here as she, what, hitting against. Two, a couple is, it looks like a couple of Alberta stones, Kathy. Well, they've looked really hard at the red and the yellow that you see just to the left in the eight foot to see who, in fact, is second shot. That stone that is shot has just been thrown there by Heather Nettowin, and they're wondering if they can get to the inside and roll sideways and just touch that yellow one back for multiple points. And there's a couple of stones, two just at the back, maybe jam possibilities here. Trying to hold it, will not, and now they'll have even a closer look. One yellow. So steal of one for Alberta to tie it at four. Yeah. Just over the top of it. And then just try to And the crowd, it. there's a murmur here by. now and in the centrium. I think it's going by. So if this hits. Coach Louise Logan is out. If you dead hit this, are we counting here? We'll be counting. Yeah, we'll be two. For Still sure. like this shot, Vic, okay. because even if even if you jam, this one's gone for sure. But this rock here, if you hit it on the high side where my where I, I've thrown it here, this red rock will actually stick. And that's not bad because it protects a come around in this way later, and it also stops any raises. So actually, by jamming that, it's not really a bad thing. You'll only be sitting two. But that's not bad. If you hit all you can see, I think you got the double. Let's go, girl. Good. Peel weight, get as close as you can. You might be able to jiggle that top one out of there. If not, it could work pretty well. 
Unless it bounces open. Yeah, it's a, a nice position in that it's late in the end, so you're not leaving a lot of options for Kelly. There's another way in on the other side. She's setting it up nice and late. Jen Seabrook. Uh, hit what she can okay. see, and she will drive it through. <laughs> thought that wasn't supposed to dim. <laughs> and so is she sitting one. She, Ontario, yeah, is sitting sure one back edge of the four. Really, really close for second shot. Well, I did go over and move the yellow one, and now I'm really not sure who is second shot. Do you want to just go 10? Do you like that? Do you like a touch? I feel like it's going to run here. Just sit it thin enough to drag it a bit, and, and it just curl up a hair left. more. I'm thinking a little bit less. I like Kay. 10. Kay. Pretty simple double here, roll in, and in, in theory, half a rock goes right over to that shot rock here. This could be a game changer. Just roll it out of that eight foot to count our top reds. The double and the nice roll. Peel weight triple is the shot, and how hard Kelly wants to throw it. I like it. Well, they were talking about a soft weight. I think they said a 10. Scott oh. and her first Whoa. skip stones here in the eight. Oh, Jackie, oh. hard. Hard, hard. Jackie. Trying to get the inside roll. There it is. A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, it is a beauty. T line, edge of the button. Kelly Scott. They should have kept rolling, eh? Very nice. This was a side that was going to be available to her no matter what happened earlier. The yellow one. Would have been by itself, perhaps, but there would have been a roll in, and she made it perfectly. Good call on that. Now it requires a run back. Away, girl. Okay, They're hoping to take back. it a little bit further to get it by directly behind the red ones. Yep. It's still a very nice shot. A little bad break on the Ontario one that jammed. I thought if they uh, hit it thick enough, well, if they had to th hit it thicker, it would have uh, dragged a little bit and missed it completely. But by hitting it as thin as they did, it just carried it over and ticked their yellow. But great shot by Kelly. And even this, this run back, it appears if you yeah, hit it too yeah. thinly, it might jam on the stone at the back of the four. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pretty straight spot. They have to be careful whoa. here. Tracy Horgan, her first. Whoa, whoa. Nothing yet. Got the line. Run it back. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, goodness. They're trading them now. And that's why Kelly Scott wanted to roll a little further because these runbacks, look at that, just by the other red. Very nice. Bit of an angle here, but I'm not sure how much Kelly can see to play this runback. Yeah, look at that. It's there. You've got a solid, you got more than half. I think you can throw at least four down it. Four? Okay, yeah. She needs to hit the half, though. 11. Again, there's a lot of yellow granite in that house. What's she got on center if I roll out here? Just yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. We're going with 11. Okay. Hit as much as we can see, and I think it's still going to jam back to the other yellow, but kill one of them. I think she can stick this if she hits it, uh, gets by the guard tight. If she hits it too thin, do you think she'll squeeze it right through the house? She can, Vic, yeah. for sure. A quarter rock, and uh, we know this is a pretty straight spot. I would, uh, I would think this will run straighter than than opposed to overcurl. Final stone for BC and Kelly Scott here in eight. Not a thing, not a thing from Armstrong or Carter. All on its own. Needs to come up, not too thin. Oh, it did. It won't move in. And so it said it'll be a chance for three for Ontario. A little strong. There's kind of ran there too, their third through that one, eh? If I can be critical, it's just a wee bit of ice reading. I, I bet uh, Kelly was happy the way she threw that, since she decided it might be a little strong because she didn't see it finish. Well, there is no finish this late in the game outside in. and we, We've had the luxury of being here for four games, and it just gets that little bit straighter. 
Okay. You heard actually 80? Sasha say that to her. Mm. It was a fairly straight spot. Yeah. 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 No. We already talked about Kathy mentioned how Kelly's trying to call this game more herself and it's hard. But she can't always rely on the other three at the other end to give her input. So the chance for Tracy Horgan, the Ontario champion from Sudbury. This is a huge possible three points. Got to come through the hole. Mine's good. You're by. Got to break for her and then die for her. Now needs to sit. Needs to sit and sit quickly. And out the back. Oh. Wasted chance. Ontario gets a couple here in eight to take the lead 7 6 over BC. And we have our first final. Newfoundland, Labrador, Heather Strong wins her first. Make the final 8 3. Well, this is the uh, Galbraith statue, one of the uh, ghosts of Red Deer, life size sculptures, immortalizing the famous and not so famous. Here in Red Deer, time now for the MM Meat Shops Final End Challenge. Right after the game, go to finalend.ca, enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championship in Sochi, Russia. The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card. All participants will get an M&M discount. We'll give you the secret word shortly and then go to finalend.ca. Missed opportunities. Welcome you back to the Centrium. We go to the ninth and Ontario has the lead. 7-6 in BC. Kelly Scott from Kelowna will have the last rock playing the red stone. Good sweep, girls. Good sweep. Now you look at that score and there are some big numbers on it, but you think about all the mistakes that have been made and all the opportunities that have been lost by misses on last rock. Don't even count the misses in the middle because we see misses, of course. Mistakes on last stone that have given points away. Line's coming nice, though. No bigger than Butter that come around uh, top for four in the uh, third end that just grazed the guard and ended up being a steal of one. And then the last two ends, seven with Perfect. Kelly Scott having a hit for two, rolling out, and last end a draw for three, and it goes too far. So lots of points have been left out there. And a lot of good shots made to force the skips to miss, too. It's, it's, it's been an interesting game. I mind it. I can see, like, a quarter of it. I can see a quarter. It's the jam way, though. Yeah. I think the jam's a really, like, long jam, though. It's like, a, that one's tough. I don't eight. mind the freeze. Okay. 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 I think if you're scouting Kelly Scott, we've mentioned that she likes to play it close. Now, this game is close for a lot of different reasons, but uh, likes to play it close, take the hammer to 10, and isn't uncomfortable with being one down and trying to get her deuce in 10. She would like to blank this end. So I think anything you can do if you're Ontario without taking huge risk to force a single would be a good thing. Just loading up, huh? No tap. No tap. Switch. Do not want to be deep here. Just weld one on top. Make it tough to blank. Want to go behind? Can't no, we're already bounce. On. Sorry, Jenna. It's fine. Okay, nice throw. Throw, girl. Too much muscles. Well, class is back in session, and the students at this school major in drama. Don't miss the return of Degrassi with back-to-back -back new episodes Friday at 9 Eastern on Much. No question who they're supporting. Team Canada, Amber Holland, they're on the ice against Alberta in a 4-4 tie as they play the ninth, and Kathy will update you on all the games. Out of it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's normal. You got it. Straight up. Yep. Hard. Double opportunity. You could also hit and roll buried. You wouldn't be shot, but you might force uh, whoa, whoa. Kelly Scott to a single. 
Well done. Very nice. And with that little biter hanging on on the side, that's another good thing. Sitting two. Well, the number to call for Sandra Schmirler Day. So many of you have called. $230,000 has been raised so far. We thank you for that. We urge you to call if you haven't. All in support of neonatal care across the country. The legacy of the great Sandra Schmirler. And the phones will remain open one hour after we leave the air this evening here in Red Deer. Six, yeah, six off if you can for line. Just let it keep working. It's getting better. Six, six top eight. eight. Six. What is that count? Fifteen. Way to go. Do you like the run? It's a long run. Yeah. It's got a lot of... Oh, or the like freeze. That. She's got confidence in yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. She? She's like, throw the run. We're not sure, Chase. Okay. You like it, even if you peel it off, you'll have a chance. Okay. Just stop normal, right? Yep. You got it, girl. Two options here. You could throw the freeze, shrink the scoring area, hopefully. Of course, Kelly Scott, a very tough shot for two, and, and she gets the one. You've got the hammer coming home tied. Yeah. This is not wrong either. You, you make it, you're in great shape, but if you miss it, uh, Kelly probably has to try to, uh, she's obliged to try to control her deuce. Yeah, girl. Nice one. Nice shot. They have made a lot of the run backs in this game. Guards a little further out, eh? That's a bit more than Daly. Because she hit the guard, eh, and flopped a bit. Nine. Hey, you can no, clean it. I, I think just seven. Close, guys. Close. We gotta go. Yeah. Nine only. Yeah. Nine gotta go. Nine. Gotta go. Nine. Off, off, off. It's good over bend here. Set down. Set. Oh, good slash. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Hat. Yeah. Probably get the inside with hat. So, a 40? I think a 45, yeah. Well, Team Canada, Kathy, we saw give up the steal of one, and Alberta appears to be sitting one back edge of the four. They are, and there's been a big momentum shift. You can absolutely feel it out here on this sheet. Amber made a great shot on her first to open up the front, but Heather guarded again, needs to get to the forefoot for the single. Slip too far. Interesting, isn't it? Indeed. Alberta really has been given the lead now on back to back steals 5 4. Pretty close to the same. Pretty close to the same. Ontario with a very nice hit one more time. They are sitting four, and that last one's in a nice spot. Sasha has to tap it. Still shot stone. Chase. No, no, oh, bad though. No you can get at it with the out turn no. side. And the angle's yes. really good. It's tough to remove that red one. It is us. First shot. Ah. <laughs> it's not bad. And then if you end up here, that's not awful either. Yeah. She has it both ways. First shot. Okay. Do you like this? 
center. And then if this is not bad, get don't want to spill off and leave her a double. You can yeah. see how open the yellow one is on the out turn side. Okay. Quite visible. Right you are. Yeah. 90 degrees here. Perfect spot so other than they didn't get shot rock. And then you, you heard uh, Jennifer say they've got us both ways and that's that's when you've got that angle set up nicely that you you tapped it enough that you can get that yellow one on the left hand side with okay, an out seven. turn or you can so play the in turn tap. It's hard uh, to take like them both away. Okay. You could pick this clean and let Kelly freeze. Right, you it, girl. elected yes. to come in, shrink yeah, the scoring area. Nice. Probably will leave an intern top for uh, BC. Here in the ninth, and Tracy Horgan seven. from Mine's Sudbury. Seven, eight. Mine's really nice, guys. Wait only. Close for line. Yes, hard, 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 hard. Yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> that was Plan B, as far as I know. They were trying to oh. angle the red one. Good call at the last moment oh, to try it? and get it by instead of rubbing. And that came from the front end saying seven. That's Once it was I seven, that was deep for the freeze on the rocket that was in the sixth position. So they brought it by just in time. That's a great location. Okay. Not bad. No, I think okay. One, two yellow. There, Quebec Stones, PEI drawing to possibly tie, Kathy. Kim Dolan on her first one, she played a pick shot. She's had great draw weight this whole game, but she needs the hearts now. Take a look, girls. You overbrush this. No. Oh, just in time. One, says Rebecca Jean McDonald. And so they're tied. Quebec will have last rock coming home. Kelly Scott. Ten. Ten. No. Ten. No. Stay close. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sash, you're bouncing. Are they ever? Okay. So shot yeah. stone still belongs Good. to Ontario, sitting edge of the That's button tee line. We have options. Yes, yes, yes. quite hard, and it really didn't have a ton at the end, did it? It's really hard to get two from over here. Yeah. I guess this isn't going anywhere. No, exactly. Like, what if we put one? Be there. The double there. Right here. Because you, you feel that all she has is a draw for one. Yeah, right? well, she has this too, the hit and roll. But we can block both. Okay. I think if we don't hit that, that double. Yeah, I think that's good. I think the, like uh, the sure. best way for Kelly Scott is to play the one I just illustrated. If you threw a bullet down now. there, hit three quarters of the red, like, went into the yellow. You might move both of them far enough to sit the deuce. It's a flat W. You'd have to throw a lot of weight. If you guard that shot, you might leave a hole for Kelly to come down and just tap the yellow one sideways. It would also be a tough shot. But Kelly Scott has nothing on the outturn side. The red yellow would just jam on the other yellow. I don't think so. But all she has to do is move it to here. Yeah. You could even uh, hit that okay. red one that's wide open, the one that Kelly just threw, hit the roll out. Okay. And leave a very, very tough come around top for two. You don't like just a hit and roll out? There it is, there's the call. We're getting, I think we can block this. I, I, I like the guard. This like so right here? Uh, three. Like three. three? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I think Kelly could throw it hard enough to run off her own and make that double? Yeah, I do. I think the only yeah. thing with this uh, game that we've been so watching like, is I don't know if they know where to put the broom for that, for a very high hard one with lots of rotation mm -hmm. and 
get it fat to roll over. I'm not sure about that. There's also draw the butt in, button and just okay. tap that. If you get lucky enough to just tap the side of that, you can screw your deuce. Well, that is what they're trying to guard against now. And leave the double? I believe so. Yeah. They're trying to put yeah. it to block the tap. You could almost throw a long one and guard the inside of the double, which would probably stop the path for the draw, too. Just, just about a foot and a half off that center line. Just guard the inside edge of that red one, and there is no inside roll. Tracy Horgan and her last. Sitting one has a steel point here in her pocket Two. for the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> Never works, but we try. <laughs> Stop. All right, girl. <laughs> Kelly's not even going to look at the uh, double. Wow. Interesting. Can she hook it in there to touch the shot stone to move it enough? Or is she just oh, plain, yeah. a, plain draw here? Four, five. I guess yeah. it's possible, but I don't think she's thinking that no, way. No, I think she's playing the draw. Dive in there. Yeah. I guess it's still there. These are the ones if you try to tap it and you're four inches heavy, you give up another steal. Final stone. Here in nine, Ontario is sitting so one, leading by one in this guys. battle yeah, of the undefeated. Jackie yeah. Armstrong is on the left, Sasha Carter yeah. on the right. Daleen Sivertson Lord. calling line. Really Going to now try to play the rub. Try to apply the rub. Rub it, rub it, get in. And now you look, and it doesn't look like it got there. Look at the extra little blue. Actually, Ring overswept it. Yeah, uh, Kelly was right. They needed to be off it and tick it a little less. It is one yellow steal of one Ontario. <laughs> the 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotty's, proud supporter of women's curling for over 30 years. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. By M&M Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Tim Horton's new lattes, made with premium espresso. Okay, it's time now for the M&M Meat Shops Final End Challenge, and the secret word is... Sheet. Be careful now. <laughs> Be careful how you say that. Remember what you put in. We check spelling. <laughs> right after the game, go to finalend.ca and enter that secret word for a chance to win a trip for two. And no the typos. 20, no typos. <laughs> so don't waste. If you if you type the other word, you're excluded immediately. Okay. Bye. 2013 World Junior Curling Championship. <laughs> oh goodness. Got it. And that kind of night. Uh -huh. Welcome back. Steal of one for Ontario. They lead by two. BC does have the last rock. Playing the redstone. Well, we were just talking about how you play this end. You have a situation where Ontario is two up without, and it's a, it's a tricky little one, but... Yeah, you either throw them both in or one through, and uh, you know, it's, like you say, if you throw the first one through and uh, BC yeah. makes a mistake, so that corner guard in the range, you're pretty happy. Yeah, line eight, hard to get by, hard to get nine. by both sides. Yep. Line. We've got the line here. Clean room. We don't have the weight, and that seems to be the story. There's been so many missed draws. But you have rocks in play. And what I was going to say is the first one dropped short. I would have tossed it through. Put yep. up anything, you can't drop yep. it short. Yep. They got a little lucky that the next one was made quite nicely top eight. But they're staggered, and that's not going to help them in the long run either. No. You could have even hit your own if you wanted to. Yeah, you could have. That's on my rule. Punish the person that puts yeah. it their way yeah. it should <laughs> be. Make them clean up their own mess. Yeah. 
Big shot here. Seven. Room, room, seven. Lots of room. Eight. Well then, at the end maybe. Eight. Stay close. No. Stay close. I don't think at the end. Eight. Oh, it's a lot. Have to stay in front here. Okay. Uh, and up. it will just. Works, girl. Thanks, guys. That helped. <laughs> Keep one in front of the T line here. You don't have to bury this. You just have to get Five. it partly Five. tucked underneath. Five. You've got some uh, backing yeah, at the back of the yeah. rings. Yep. Yeah. Oh, a little hard. lighter. This might curl. Hard. Guys, go. Quick, hard. Okay, we're right up to yellow. Just a four count. Yeah, I guess bump it a bit. Huh. Okay. Just we only we see it every once in a while. Exactly. Okay. You and as go. we mentioned earlier, these teams, neither one appearing to be as sharp as we might expect. But the other thing is, they have yet to figure out the ice. We're in the tenth here. This ice has really confounded them. I agree. That's been a major problem, and not just on the draws, which has shown up obviously uh, with the numbers and the positioning of stones, but with the ice for takeout. Gotta go in this one too. Hard, it's gonna get hard, by, I think, hard, but have they got the speed? Hard, hard. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. Hard, hard, as far as you can. Hard, hard, hard. You get three things. So as we take a look at the game story, is the ice part of that story? I think so, Vic. In a game where we've seen some spectacular shots, we've seen some huge misses, in particular by the skips on their last drop. It was Ontario. They had a chance for four, but it turned into a steal in the third end. And then Kelly Scott, three ends in a row, misses her second shot. We've been watching the match up at third, and it's close, but those numbers are not what we expected. The game story is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one hour. everything out here and it uh, it's good yeah, and it's it bad the two cool. reds out top are really good because you can tap those up and they're certainly uh, can be used for cover for british columbia but the yellow at the top of the uh, eight foot is a dangerous yeah. rock even a five okay. well we mentioned that the crowd here the centrium kathy was waiting for something to cheer about that roar you heard was after the final rock thrown by Heather Nedewin and now she Alberta leading by one Team Canada last rock coming up well and she's playing off her own out in the eight foot to try to make the thin double to lie two and, and that would be for the win you betcha here we go final rock Team Canada also coming oh. in with two straight wins oh. Alberta yeah. at one and one oh. Looking for the little lean off and across. How's that for the defending champion? <laughs> Have we seen that before? You bet. Those are big shoulders. How much money did she win in the gold trail? 900 bucks. Mm. And she donated 650 of it to the Schmirler Foundation earlier today. Fooled a few teams so far. It's a great team effort, too. Putting down the broom isn't easy. Did that well. Great brushing, great line call. And there it is. To win a third straight, make the final 6-5, Team Canada. Eight, nine, nine. He has an opening on this sheet with that last rock going too deep. There's a lot of rocks in the wrong spots. Eh? They, they made a beauty top eight the previous shot to force BC to... Uh, Bail out, but now uh, coming deep like that, it's a chance to sink one. The 
Well, keep an eye on those two reds out in front. Even if something is made into the area near the red one, there is still a chance later in this end if Kelly Scott needs it to use those rocks. It didn't feel like much. Lots of room. Lots of line. Needs to curl. Switch if you have to. Wait till the end. Wait till there, Chase. Whoa, whoa. We're playing whoa, third whoa, stones whoa. in our featured game. Not Ontario here. with a no, no, two point no, lead. It's, it's up. British Columbia does have the last drop here in 10. Curl. Okay. Okay, T. That was just a hair hot, girl. Right that on it, Sash. That's not a. That's not a hair hot. It's 10 feet hot because they could have dragged that with the brushing hey, and uh, that one couldn't put it in the worst spot. And short would block the path. Oh, gee, yeah, because it's blocked on the outturn side. Anything top uh, top rings was good. Thanks for the three. You started by saying that Ontario That's left too many sad. rocks in play, and at this point, the rocks are also in the wrong spot. If Sasha can sink this one right on top of her red, a lot can happen. Didn't look as good as the first. Well, yeah, I think we're BC needing to two, have two in there. The worst part about that last one is that if uh, Ontario comes in here, this red one was locked on that yellow, so you can get it in there and stick it. But I think that at this point in time, the only shot they have is to come down this way, maybe move this a little bit and at least sit second shot. Just do a tap. Just to move that to there. Yeah. Try to get onto the nose. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, back line. Yeah. With back line. And the tricky part about this one is we talked about ice reading and challenges for Tracy and Kelly in this game. As soon as you add a little bit to yep. make a tap, now we're into that unknown territory. And they're calling back line. This is three quarters buried. You can get to the inside. Even if you threw a draw here and froze to it, you, you can use it later. Back line, I'm not sure you can get to, to the nose. If you roll open, you're in trouble. 4-4, four, four. Prince Edward Island, Quebec. PEI. That stone sitting top four was just thrown by Kim Dolan. Marie France LaRouche now to win it. Just needs to make it go away. Really unfortunate break for Kim Dolan just rubbing on her own stone. Emily Blay and Marie Filto on the brush make it go away. And a second win for Quebec. They'll pick up the single. Make the final 5-4. Tracy's probably too that as good as she could, and it was just absolutely the wrong weight. If you were going to throw a back line so to hack, yellows. it was know, physically yeah. impossible. Just a straight draw was the call. Just missing the wrong way at the wrong time here. We talked about experience at the very really start of this game. It's taken all the way to the end to maybe see a big mistake that... Perhaps it's based on experience as far as strategy goes. Even if you skinny the guard and tap the one out, yes, they're only laying one, but then you're going to get Ke Kelly Scott sink another one and still get her three. That was yours, Sash. What do you think? A hair less? Uh, I threw my second one better than my first day. I had better rotation on it. We're better to come right in, eh? Yeah. yeah. Right in there. Right like, into but for her slash on her she eight, can, I think. She can come in enough to take away that if we could be on that's that what I mean. Aside. Yeah, we wanna, we wanna, we wanna come as deep as we can. I think, eh? Yeah. It's a real nice track. What weight, Sash? Uh, I'm throwing like a four eight. I'm yeah. thinking, yeah. Yeah, just like a draw to the button, Cal. Good conversation. If Kelly comes in and sits the three. It actually sets up an, a nice wall for Ontario. So what they'd love to do is overbury this if they can bring it down here and just come around and get it over into that right area then at least the shot rock will stay the back one will stay and that would be enough for a free draw for three you guys agree yeah, yeah. It's, it's close to the same to yeah. that like not too far off saw that. jerry richard the coach for bc the former canadian and world champion with rick folk back in 1994.
Yes. Kelly Scott, her first. Thank you, Don. Down by two. You Has two. You can let it work. Clean, line, line good. Clean, Sitting line on the pot. Right Bring it good. right to it, guys. Line's line's real great. Good now. You right can even bump it. it. Come on. Oh, hard. Right over it. Come on. Wait to finish it. 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 Not what they want. Obviously, there's a nice angle here that has to be made, though, and Linda, you can't like bang one of them and roll out. Just a reminder, Sports Center comes your way immediately following our coverage of this fifth draw of the Scotties here in Red Deer on a Sunday night. Quarters. Here, you take a look. I'm not good with fractions. Looks like there's enough room here to skinny by the guard with lots of weight probably leave that one but there. this goes this way luckily for Ontario and that's lined up to go out also Pardon? that might hold BC to two but again we still have this other option of getting that one in there that could win you the game kind of wait Chase up normal yeah I like that six of one isn't it yep it is I think uh, the other shot the yellow in looks like an easier one just because this spot's been so tricky can't see them getting the top rock that was just thrown by Kelly anywhere. So you need some speed here and to be able to jam the last two past the yellows. Peel. Straight Whoa. spot. Whoa. Whoa. Final stone. No. Final stone. No, no, no. Curl a lot more. Uh oh. It's been a game of gifts. Is this another one? Okay, girl. Uh oh. There's the two now. Draw for Second. three and the win. Excited. That's an option, but I'll try for the same weight. I think around there. This is exactly where you were last no. time. Okay, uh, uh, I mean, I... I'm worried it'll take off, but I think go ahead. No question yeah, about yeah, that shot of hers? I mean, it, was that the shot to play, and he just missed it? Tr it? Tracy's? Yeah. I would have stuck, I think, with the one Russ was showing earlier, playing the yellow one in. It's just they had so much trouble like, time mm -hmm. after yeah, time in that one spot. Mm -hmm. How many there were times some options. he went back behind the T-line two or three times, ticked and rolled open, and then just, just missing the wrong way. That's the that's the tough part. You know, you play as long as you and I did. You uh, you learn from your mistakes, and it's it's tough sometimes. We have lots okay, of time. Yeah. I mean... You go now, two up. As you said, keep it clean. And look what they're about to face here. Kelly Scott with a draw for a possible three to win. Kelly seemed to be fretting a little bit about this spot. She just threw it. Just throw it the same way. I think it's more hey, you like it. Just it. a little extra weight. Offline. Out of her hand. Oh, you're holding right now. Oh, Not moving it. yet. Armstrong. Oh, Carter. Here it goes. Siverton in the house. Can't Mine's hurt it now. Needs the blue. You can't hurt it. You're right to this one, Mine's Needs right. the blue. <laughs> For the win. BC Kelly Scott. Make the final 9-8 as BC wins their third in a row. Ontario dropped their first to fall to two and one. And so that leaves the defending champions, Team Canada, after a dramatic last rock win over Alberta, tied with BC. Ontario drops into that group of one-loss teams. We've got a couple of two. And now Nova Scotia, surprising many people. Uh, last year's bronze medalist, Heather smith Dacey, are still looking for their first win. Just a reminder, the phones will remain open for one hour to make your donation to the Sandra Schmerler foundation in support of neonatal care across our country thanks to all of you who have called in it has been a wonderful day thanks too to our entire crew
been a long day, but a very successful one in support of the foundation. Now on behalf of Linda Russ, Kathy, and our entire crew, thank you for joining us. And make sure that you join Kathy and Brian tomorrow morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The Scotties is here on Canada's Sports Leader. TSN Sports Center is next.